Hey everybody, uh, sorry about that, a little bit of a technical difficulty, uh, we were just talking about superheroes, that's not the technical difficulty, uh, anyway, <laughs> it is Wednesday night, here, Fable Forge RPG, you know where you are, thank you for being here, and or if you're catching this later on YouTube, thank you for that as well, I don't have any major announcements tonight, except please, if you haven't done so yet, follow us on Twitter, and the amazing cast here as well. Um, we really want to interact with you guys outside of this, really trying to build up the social media community and all that great stuff. So any additional support there would be absolutely wonderful. There's all the fancy links down below. Check that out, whether you're on Twitch or YouTube. And we have a Discord community. So do the Discord thing. We can chat in between all the sessions and all that good stuff. We have a full roster of our normal cast tonight, which is a good thing because this is going to be a wonderful session. So, without any further ado, we are going to jump in, and y'all just remind me to let players, if you guys have any announcements, any awesome things going on in your life, we'll do that at the end of the session. <gasps> Let's play. So, when we last left off, I don't even know if we can call you heroes yet. I'm just going to call you adventurers. Hey, well, hold on. Sofian is <laughs> uh, a hero. All right. After what he pulled last time. Didn't I save you? Oh my god. <laughs> Our freshly level three adventuring party. After you escaped from the cathedral, defeating a monstrous spider, dealing with a half vampire, half human ancient being, finding out some information, you rose back to the surface following a tunnel and a well to find that a large portion, if not the vast majority, of the townspeople of Rebalka have been captured for tribute by whoever orchestrated this assault on the cathedral. Yeah, they did. <laughs> you attempted to follow the tracks into the Darkwood. Unfortunately, it did not go very well for your group. However, you did seem to meet a powerful nemesis. Intelligent creatures, unlike those that you've been fighting thus far, Except for maybe one or two here or there, like the individual that disappeared through the tunnel in the basement of Rebalka, uh, the cathedral. So, after that encounter, some of the townspeople, including High Priest Jurientor and Mayor Igor, and a couple of villagers, ran up. They recovered you, brought you back to consciousness, and gave you some information. They told you that it appeared these entities, these people, were taking the villagers through the dark wood or maybe perhaps along the north road up in the direction of the only thing nearby, Adric's Folly. Knowing this information and knowing that you needed to recover, recuperate, and equip yourselves, you decided to take a rest in the village, get your bearings, and decide on your next plan of action. And that is where we left off. So, we have, we've already long rested you all, so we're just going to kind of fast forward. I'm going to say that due to the proprietor of the Rebalka Lodge being missing at this point, they hooked you up. Actually, they said you were going to rest in the mansion. If I don't, if I don't remember right, it doesn't matter. We'll say that you are in the mayor's domicile. You rested there, taking his bed and the bed of some of his family members as they slept elsewhere in the, the dwelling. You would know before going to sleep that the town guard has been patrolling the road, the dirt road between the village and the cathedral, looking for any survivors, trying to find any tracks, and keeping that, that passageway safe as villagers, after they rested, they were going to go to the cathedral and try to put out the fire, recover what they could, search for any more survivors or bodies, etc. Compared Question to, to the DM, sorry. Yes. No, you're good. Uh, was was there room enough in this uh, house where we all had separate rooms to sleep, or did we pile yes. up? Got yes. It. So it's a it's a two story structure. There is only three bedrooms. However, there are other rooms like a study and sleeping on a couch and so on. Gotcha. So you all had your own personal space. Yeah, Sophia was sleeping in the mayor's bed. <laughs> That's fine. I'm gonna walk in there. with with the mayor's dog, by the way. Uh, <laughs> the big shade dog? Yes, dog. <laughs> okay, all right, that's cool. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. Dogs are dog, cool. Doggo sleeps in the bed. Yeah. Um, compared to the previous evening, 
<laughs> when this all started, which seems like ages ago now, the, the village is essentially a ghost town. It is still pitch black outside no matter what time of day or night it actually is. And everything is very, very quiet except for the odd pair of villagers going basically from the village to the cathedral or back after essentially a, a rescue shift. So you have all awaken. If you would like to start in your own individual rooms because you have things to do, you're welcome to do that. Otherwise, you can all start in the common area of the mayor's home. I will turn the scene over here to you. So I will, uh, I will stay in my room for a moment and just sort of collect my thoughts. Can I be rummaging around the kitchen to, like, see if there's food? You certainly can. Give me an investigation check. Cool. Uh... Oh, do we not have our personal rules? This is just a regular. What are you talking about with the token and everything? Mm -hmm. Uh, so if yeah, since we're using a party token here for the village map, okay. just as a general reference, you just go to your character sheet. Probably an easier way to do it. Got it. Character, character. Investigate. Click. Cool. Ten. A ten. Okay. You don't find anything that seems to be significantly um, delicious or expensive and such, but there is food all over the kitchen here. There's salted meats, winter vegetables, root products, etc. Okay. I'd like to head down to the kitchen too and shuffle my way and be like, oh. Did you find anything good for breakfast? To Brian? No. No? Nothing? I mean, th there's food, but you have to make it. Oh. Okay, I'll just find some fruit and eat some of that. There's some small apric apricot-type fruits that are lined up in a bowl. You're welcome to them. everybody else doing uh so sophion and the crew as well as a copy of sophion are jumping on the bed and you can hear like snapping and jitterbug uh being kind of sung between the group uh for for the morning uh it's a lot of squeaky bed sounds uh rough housing and pillow fights it's a, it's a hell of a good time Soraya is still in her room. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring one of the fruits to. So, you, you know, no, I'm gonna bring two of the fruits to Soraya's room, <laughs> and like, like, but like in another bowl, and then just like put it at her door, and then walk away. And then I want to try eating some of the vegetables, like the root vegetables in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. The vast majority of the food here is very bland and hearty, much like the people that reside in this village. <laughs> you said there was a study, right? Mm hmm I'd like to go see if I can look at their books. See if there's anything interesting. Sure. The browsing around a bit, it's, there's not very many books that are non-fiction. The mayor seems to be a fan of stories and things. However, there are some on the history of the, the region and the village itself, mostly detailing things that have occurred since the Klavik Kingdom came through this area in conquest. There's very, very little about more ancient history, such as the Vic Mordir and everything like that. But if you're looking for anything in particular, otherwise you can curl up with a book and read your heart's content. Okay, I'll just read one of the books about the history of the town. Okay. I'll get you some extra information on that. I want to go read books. <laughs> That's my thing. Yeah, if, if there's like other... I guess I want to find just more like lore, but like lore history books. 
Just, okay. just things to further my knowledge and understanding of the world. Okay. Well, for both of you, either each of you individually or one of y'all with advantage, give me an investigation check so we can see just how much information you find or anything that is particularly uh, arcane and unknown. Did you want to do it, Lexi? Investigation? Yeah, I can do one. Oh, where is it? Ooh, not bad. That's 18. Oh, well, I did it as a party. Hold on. Let me do it for my thing. Or should I just add my proficiency bonus? You can to just it? add your bonus to it, yeah. Alright, that'll be a 19 then, because I'm plus one. Okay. You got it. Again, I'll get y'all some more information about that. Okay. So, it's been about an hour that you two, from the point that you were in the kitchen to the point that you've been up in the study, they're still jumping on the bed, a little bit of a party going on in Sofian's room, and you haven't seen Soraya this entire time. I'm gonna look over to Brian and see, have you, have you seen Soraya? You were up before me. I don't, I haven't heard her today. Well, I left a bowl of fruit in front of the door, but I don't know if she's eaten it yet. Did you knock and let her know that it was there? No, why would I do that? Just so that she knew it was there to get? But if so she, she opened didn't... the door, then she would either find it or trip on it, and then she would know it was there. Fair enough, okay. Uh, I'll get up, put the book down, and I'll go up and knock on Soraya's door wherever she slept for the night and say, Hey, Soraya, um, Brian and I are downstairs. Uh, Brian left you some fruit out here if you'd like it, but you can join us whenever you're ready. If you feel like it, we're in the study reading. Um, take uh, a step. Uh, yes, sorry. Um, I'll be there soon. Okay, um, well... We'll see you down there, I guess. Uh, don't forget this fruit. It's it's pretty yummy. I think you'd like it. And then I'll walk back down the stairs. Can I steal Lorelai's book while she's gone? And like, try and see you read it? As with everything player-related, assuming the other player is okay with you attempting to do that, you sure can. Cool. Well, I mean, like, Lor Lorelai left the book there, so I'm just gonna, like... <laughs> <laughs> like You're okay with books. that, Lorelai? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Walk back in and take Brian's book. <laughs> <laughs> Not even paying attention, I'm just... <laughs> After about uh, 30 minutes or so, I will... Uh make my way down and find them. Um, thank you for the food. You're welcome. Did you sleep well? Uh, no, I uh, was plagued with bad dreams. Hmm. Did you well, sleep well? Uh, I slept okay. Great. Um, do we have things to do? I I assume so. I don't know if we need to go talk to someone. I know we said we would help find their people, but I don't know who exactly we need to talk to. Maybe the mayor again? Where is uh, Sofia? Oh, do you not hear that? Is He's... that him? Yeah, I think so. I, I say... He hasn't come down for food yet. If we just leave him up there, he'll come down for food eventually. Right, yes. Um... Sorry, I, um... Do you... Do either of you often get nightmares? No. I've gotten nightmares before, yes. What is it that you see? I see my my past, mainly figures from my past. Um, also, yes. fears for the future sometimes. Yes, me as well. Um, perhaps we should uh, figure out a sort of 
plan. We are not strong enough to uh, fight whatever it is in that forest. We need to figure out some other way. I agree. I, I After what happened yesterday, I, I don't want to go back into that forest unless we absolutely have to. But I would like to be um, better prepared this time if we do end yes. up having to go. Should we go get Sophion? Or how, we... how far away is Sophion from us? Well, the study is downstairs. Mm -hmm. Probably direct line distance through walls and floor, about 20 feet. I'm gonna message him telepathy wise and just go, hey, he already ate and we're gonna leave. So. Wait, who is this? Wow. And then I'm just gonna hang up. <laughs> hang up. <laughs> hang up. <laughs> I don't know how. <laughs> I, I want to make like an audible, like, I want to think an audible click noise. <laughs> New brain, who dis? <laughs> yeah, uh, I guess a little, a little bit after that. You hear uh, several feet kind of coming out of uh, his bedroom, like going, "What? Uh, 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 uh." So I will be finding uh, a, a comfy little corner in this study to sort of curl up and try to get one more moment of sleep. You're gonna come, sa come sauntering down, tell his crew to stay back, uh, but he's gonna keep his echo with him. He's like, tuk, tuk, "Let's do this, man." As he comes up, hey, Soraya, wake up! Oh no, what? there are two of them. What is that? This Why? is me from another timeline. Another timeline? Yeah. Why? Am I still asleep? No, you're not. Welcome to the present. Did it's... you get... Are we cursed? No, oh, we're not cursed. Me. I'm alive. You're alive. How can I'm this be cursed? Sure. That was... I'm pretty sure opening that coffin cursed us. No, look, the bed last night was wonderful, all right? The perfect thickness. Uh, and then also, I don't know if your beds do this, but if there's more than one person on the bed, you can adjust the firmness on different sides. It's um, it's amazing. Um, revolution. And the bed created this other you? No, I created this other me, okay? You I've been reproduced practicing. with yourself? You gave birth to yourself? No, I didn't give birth. Look, if you're good enough at cutting things, Eventually, you can cut time, okay? I ripped a hole through time and grabbed myself from another timeline. Uh, and this is, uh, he can't talk, so I don't know his name, but it's me from another timeline. Is his name not Sofian? I don't, I don't want to assume, you know? Okay. Why would you want a second one of you? Uh, I don't know. I've been kicking a lot of ass of late, so... You know. How so should you we just... refer to this thing? Um, I don't know. Uh, just refer to me, because he can't really interact with you guys. I don't have a strong enough connection to cut time enough to give him enough existence. You perceive him as real, and that is enough, but your minds cannot wrap around the fact that there are multiple timelines, and thus his interaction with this timeline is limited. I'll sort of, like, push my hand into him. Is he solid? I think so, yeah. Yeah, he is. Oh, God. Can okay. I, can I try my telepathy talk. with it? And just be like, are you real? Telepathy does not work on it. Really? I don't like it. Well, I'm leaving. I'm going to grab my backpack and start walking out the door. All right, let's do it, guys. Wait, what? do we need to talk uh, to the mayor uh, or anything? I thought the do mayor have... died. No, the mayor didn't die. The mayor did not die. <laughs> not yet. Well, he's not what, here. What should we say to the mayor? Well, uh, he said he would hook us up. We should start yeah. with hello, good morning. That's a good idea. Thank you for letting us stay in your house and in your yes. bed. Do any of us know where he slept last night? Do we know where? 
he was not really there. He he made sure he was a kind host. He made sure you were all taken care of. But he 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 didn't sleep there. It's just the way of it. Uh, we'll say maybe as one of you two of you couldn't sleep, you got up and walked around a little bit. You noticed he wasn't there. You did hear his voice coming from outside periodically as y'all were in the house doing what you were doing this morning, for lack of a better there, term. Uh, are there like servants or any any sort of staff here? The house is relatively not relatively. The house is empty aside from a dog and a couple of cats. Um. Nobody has. You've, they've been letting you sleep, and just from what you know about the village, everybody's been fully engaged in recovering and taking care of each other. Does anyone know what time it is? Morning. I don't know. It feels like the middle of the night. My sundial doesn't really work indoors, uh, so let's go outside. Yes, let us find the mayor. To the day. Probably not going to walk outside either. Yeah. Is could he be at the church, the ruins, or Possibly. maybe we could see? I'm sure there's uh-huh. someone outside that knows they lost so many people. Yeah, I'm just gonna start yeah. yelling when I get outside, like, "Hey, mayor, mayor, mayor!" Can I like look out the window to see if he's like outside the window? You can. You don't see anybody out either side. It's pretty good distance to the nearest other structures. But it's also pitch black outside, so you can barely see their outlines. There's a couple of torches in the street and so on. Going out the front door, thick, heavy, old wooden door. You push it outward into the night. The brass handle on it jiggles a little bit, and you step into the snow looking left and looking right. You see the individual from the cathedral. You've You've heard him referred to as Yuri. He is... Seems to be a sage of some some type here in the village. He was also the individual that fashioned the claw hooks onto his arms to fight off the intruders when he were, it was first assaulted. His long gray hair coming down one side, his thick cloak leaning heavily on his tall walking staff, and he is traveling with one of the town's guard in the normal dark leather armor with his long sword and a shield. They seem to be coming around a bend past the mayor's house, headed back in the direction of the cathedral. Call out to them and say, Hi, uh, do you know where the mayor is? Is this way, child. He's been at the cathedral for many hours now. You can come oh. along if you like. Okay, thank you. We'll We'll follow. Yeah, let's do this. At that, Yuri turns and walks, leaning heavily on his staff. Every now and then he'll stumble a bit, as though he's extremely exhausted. And the town's guard kind of props him up a little bit with an arm, not so much to make a show of it, but long enough to get him back on his feet and then quickly resume some space. You God, travel how along. old are you? I have seen many moons, child. Uh, several decades. Dear God. You must be like in your 40s. And how old are you? I don't know, like 20-something? Maybe early 30s? You I call me a kid, not. I'm not much younger than you. Yeah, but you like a baby. Alright, shall we go? <laughs> <laughs> it would seem I have 10 decades on you then. Holy hell! You, walking. you should be dead, dear god! Ten what decades. Been Holy shit! Doing all this time. Ten decades on him, so he's like what, 130? What the fuck? Do you still? Oh no. Do you have a wife? I do not. Do you uh, have a partner of any sort? The pleasures of the flesh and the weakness of the heart has long left my body. Oh, I don't know about you, but I wouldn't call it weakness. To the chapel, shall we? You're continuing to walk on the, the <laughs> icy, muddy road through the darkness, passing a torch here and there. After 15-20 minutes, you have since left the village and you are coming up on the cathedral. You don't see any any more burning fires. There is still smoke 
rising up and smoldering from many places in the cathedral. There's six or seven villagers clambering about the ruined structure, pulling off large timbers and heavy stones. Every now and then one will pick something up in the darkness and bring it over to what appears to be a, a wagon, a wooden wagon that is piled high with a thick burlap sack over the top of it, where they seem to be collecting items and things. You don't see any bodies, which is, depending on how you look at it, a good or a bad thing. You see Mayor Igor there with Juriendor. Juriendor seems to be off to the side a bit, on his knees, head bowed, eyes closed, and Mayor Igor standing there with his, his great extended mace over his shoulder, and he seems to be keeping an even eye on the cathedral and the surrounding dark wood. You see around the sides there's many villagers with pitchforks interspersed with town's guards, keeping a bit of a perimeter, and you've seen much of the same along the road between the village and the cathedral as well. Being like, like well, take a lead. Yeah, go ahead, uh, child. No, no, I am far too tired to do this correctly. Oh. You are the local. What up, Mayor? Sovian. You are rusted then. Yeah. This is good. Yeah, had a nice night. You might have to sanitize your room. Well, it's my room. It, it will be mine, so... <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> How many halflings you get sleeping in your bed? <laughs> that is a story for another day. We have things to attend to, do we not? I don't know. That seems enticing enough to be uh, quest number one. Well, if you have time, I could use some refreshments. Hmm. Yeah, is there a, a cafe that hasn't been burned down or whose barista hasn't been killed? Focus, Sofia. <laughs> my, my apologies. I thought this conversation was going a different direction. <laughs> um, oh, wait. Are, are you saying, like, you and me? You, you hear from the side. Mayor Igor! We found another scroll! Just looks over, waves off in the darkness, and the individual climbs down, goes over to the wagon, lifts up the sack, places it down in the wagon, and goes back over. Uh, we have been collecting much to protect us, and as well to apply your journey to try and save the people. Is this not what you wanted? Uh, I think more so we all need armor and shields. There is some of that, and, and other things as well. I'm sure Jury Endor could explain some of the more magical items, but he has been in prayer for several hours now. Let's just, uh, let's just go to the wagon and see what we have. We cannot spare it all, of course. We have to defend ourselves and rebuild, but we will spare what we can and split it evenly with you, unless you have qualm with that. No, that sounds fair. Uh, what, 50-50 split we're talking about, percentage-wise? Of the items we have, and we've collected some other things as well. Go, okay. Come see. Come see. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking more of a 60-40, but we can talk about that later. Mm. He smirks as he turns and walks away from you towards the wagon. Uh, trudging through the snow, he picks up the burlap sack, and you see a handful, uh, about half dozen, maybe a full dozen scrolls. You recognize them as spell scrolls. They're bound in the same type of string and material that you found elsewhere in the cathedral. There is a wooden box that's lined with felt, the lid is open, and within this you see many glass and wooden vials and flasks. There's a couple different types of armor they have scrounged up either from dead town's guard or from within the temple. Crossbow bolts, warhammer, etc. So, to do this mechanically, what he's saying is he will split these items with you, it is up to you what you take. And if you would like to try and get more mechanically, you can try and make it persuade your way into it. Just keep in mind that whatever you take is taken away from the village. And these are dangerous times and dark nights. So that may have an effect. I have one question. On a scale from Danny DeVito and Henry Cavell, where does the mayor fit? <laughs> mayor Igor stands... I'm not even sure which one of you is the tallest, but he stands a good 
seven foot four inches tall. He is a bear of a man. The, oh air, the hair on his arms, which his sleeves are perpetually rolled up no matter how cold it is outside. The hair on his arms is thicker than Sofian's beard. He has a massive beard, bushy, kind of bedraggled coming down just below where his shirt collar would be. Gaston. Long black hair. Long black hair. Gaston, except he has the girth of someone who very, very much enjoys mead. <laughs> and his his face has been worn and weathered his puffy cheeks, but it's drawn from the many dark winters he's had here in Rebalka. I'm sorry, one second, please. I don't know about y'all, but Sofian is enraptured. Sofian can have him. Fair <laughs> of a man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Soraya passes on that offer. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I think I think Soraya would literally break in two. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, Mayor Igor is very much a a bear of a man in stature and well, jovially like a circus bear in in character. Well, you know, we'll take sixty percent, but that extra ten percent, let's just call it coffee. You, me, before we leave. Uh, I hope you're well rested <laughs> because I am not. <clears throat> okay, so. I <laughs> this is what you have to choose from and you can you, this is we're gonna you guys can talk in character with each other obviously maybe mm -hmm. Igor is just kind of like standing back and letting you pick what to choose from and these are the options we'll say that you go through each of these items and you recognize them for lack of a better term okay so first up is scrolls you can choose under the agreement without trying to get anything extra the number I give you is what you can do just without anything okay you can pick from you can pick four of these scrolls okay one of them <clears throat> is a scroll of detect poison and disease one is lesser restoration one is calm emotions you have two sanctuary scrolls two protection from evil and good scrolls one shield of faith and one moonbeam. I think we need both sanctuary scrolls. You think? Um, I I <clears throat> can I can like out of character. I think we need to take both sanctuary and not leave any for the the town. I don't know. I don't know if I like uh, not leaving any for the town. Okay. We yeah, I feel one. like the the ones one. where there are two. I feel like we should take one sanctuary and one protect evil for sure because there's yeah. still going to be one left for of each That's for. Fair. But keep in mind that I can I can change my spells every every like long rest. That's true. And how many? How many of, that's the sanctuary. Yeah. How many of these can you not cast? I can cast all of them except for. Uh, hold on, let me check. Be sure. Because uh, next level up, I can change out some of my spells for some of these as well. Well, so I don't think Sanctuary will be very useful for these people anyway, because if someone's accosting the town, they can just wait, you know. Right, but it could help to protect Joriendor or the mayor or someone. For like, what, a minute? The yeah, hell have minute, to watch as everyone else dies. You think he would sit back and wait? He would jump in there, and then pff, there goes the spell. I mean, it's better than nothing if they can cast could help him escape in a certain place. Then... He escaped yeah. by himself? I just I I, th I think they would like the option. I think we need one one sanctuary, one protection from evil and good. Um, de depending on the type of their drow, right? We assume mm -hmm. that the drow are the ones that took them. Um, they're certainly our our most uh, they, impressive they they impressive them. foe. Yeah, I don't know who that woman was, but I am both intimidated and attracted to her. She left a mark. Is Moonbeam uh, bright light? Didn't you say that Drow are bad in light? Is does Moonbeam accomplish that? Moonbeam, mm. I I know Moonbeam. I don't have Moonbeam, but I know it. Why don't you try it on her? And... Oh God! No, that's all right. <laughs> Test for science. It, um... Are any of these spells spells that you have but are far too advanced for you? I mean. I can I know Moonbeam. I would have to wait until I can 
have Moonbeam available, so that might be an option. I know that it's it's pretty powerful. It, it does cast a very bright light, um, but it's only lines. in one spot, and you, I I don't I don't think it, it you I don't think it's like a whole entire huge area. I think it's just one spot. So if Still. we're ambushed again, it might not be the greatest unless you want to cast it directly on us. I also I potentially have the ability to stop someone in their tracks. <gasps> potentially. I, I I don't know it's it's like a moon, magic grapple. But if if we get someone in a moonbeam, perhaps I could we help to hold keep them, them there. there. I, I wouldn't say I could hold them, but it would be somewhat harder for them to move. If you don't do this the next time, do, I will be think, upset. Do we think the calm emotions would be good for the villagers if we get any alive? Do you think that they would be panicked? I don't think, well, I don't think we would need it. Well, we can use it. I don't know. I don't know the, the spell. I, like, I don't know if it works. Like, we would use it on multiple people or if it's just one. Yeah, I say just leave it. I think we're good with two sanctuaries, that one moonbeam. Not, not no, two one sanctuaries. Sanctuary. One sanctuary. One sanctuary, <laughs> one protection from evil and good, one moonbeam, and we have a fourth. Do we want to take the lesser restoration or the uh, detect poison? Uh, think... uh, correct me, does, does lesser restoration re require some sort of uh, monetary component that is uh, taken, I, or am I wrong? I can do that. I have lesser restoration. Ooh. So, that's one thing that I can do. I don't know if you want a separate one, just in case you are separated from me. I can cure you of poison, I can cure you of being paralyzed, but if you are separated from me, I cannot. Right, right, right. I have to. Well, why don't someone else grab the Lesser Restoration because, <clears throat> uh, you know, just in case Lorelai is dead. <laughs> Seems to be that wouldn't help me if I was dead. Yeah, because I don't think we can move her body to do lesser restoration. I don't know how that works. I would say the shield of faith would be beneficial for me, but that is selfish. We should we should probably do shield of faith though. Like either way, having the shield of faith is going to help us. Yeah, it's just a question of if we take it from the villagers. Do we need it more than them? I say yes, but that is me because I had, I almost died three times yesterday. Yeah, and that I, was yesterday. I think we need help, okay? So, I... <clears throat> a couple things real quick, because I've been listening to y'all talk. Uh, number one, I know you asked about material components, and I'm not sure if, I'm gonna make sure everybody understands you do not need material components if you use a spell scroll. Yeah, I was I was asking okay. if, if that spell normally requires some sort of something that gets destroyed, then it would be super helpful to have a scroll. But I just checked, and, and they're all they're all fine. Okay. <clears throat> Number yeah. two, Moonbeam. I know you all were talking about light. Moonbeam also does do significant damage if it's cast on a creature. I don't remember that being mentioned, and I want to make sure everybody knows that. Yeah. Number three, if you want to, as a party, you can try and get more scrolls, just like you can try and get more than whatever they say they're willing to part with in the beginning, don't forget that. It's a, a risk-reward with y'all and the villagers, so. I don't go. want to take more than we need. I think one sanctuary, one protection from evil and good, one moonbeam, moonbeam and one shield of faith. Moonbeam would also be good for shape, if they have any shape changers, which we know that they do, it counters that. But that would not be good if it is cast on me, because I can... I can potentially change my shape. Well, we can try not to cast it on you then. <laughs> I would very much appreciate that if you can <laughs> so I don't die. So, does anybody disagree with Sanctuary, protect, Protection from Evil and Good, Shield of Faith, and Moonbeam? Leaving the, the town, Detect Poison, Lesser Restoration, Calm Emotions, Sanctuary, and Protection from Evil and Good. Sounds good I think that sounds good. I don't want to I'm take more than, than what we need because our whole thing is to get people back to the town, not come back to a town with no people left. I agree. Sofian? Well, I don't, I mean, I've said my piece. <laughs> I think we outvote you. <laughs> yeah, like, I think they're just going to die. All right. 
Let's let's get, let's press A on those scrolls. <laughs> We're going to select. You got it. Yeah. Do you take? Do you guys, y'all have them. Disperse them amongst yourselves, however you want. It's all in D and D Beyond, or just pick up the spell, however you want, or just remember what it is, and we'll just yeah, we'll role play it. Okay. So got that locked in. So you grab the scrolls, put them in your bags. Next up is the box of flasks and vials. So here you get to choose another four. Okay. Within here, there are three potions of climbing, two greater healing potions, four flasks of holy water, two potions of heroism, and one potion of watchful rest. Watchful rest. When you say we already know what, what they do, right? If not, he could briefly explain it to you. Okay. Either pulling over a cleric, town guard, etc. And can you just go over the the numbers of each again? It's sure. three times potions of climbing, two times greater healing, four flasks of holy water, two potions of heroism, and one potion of watchful rest. Right. Hundred percent. Okay. <laughs> hmm. I think out of those, uh, we need at least one healing. At least one. If if not both. Yeah, they have powerful clerics, we have not. Okay. <laughs> I do have more healing now. Um I've hmm. I noticed how we were dying, so I I made sure to to try to help that a little bit. Um holy water, uh maybe it's good, good for you to notice. If I would know. I would I know DM would I know if I could dip like crossbow bolts in holy water would that have any effect? Dip it and shoot uh, Lorelai. Mm. See. Okay. <laughs> First we're gonna moonbeam Lorelai, then we're gonna shoot her with holy water. <laughs> Give me a second here. I know like some oils you can do that with, but I don't know about correct. Anything Typically, else. oils not really the same thing. Um, yeah. What I will say is. It, the risk reward of holy water is it's 2d6 radiant in exchange for taking an action so what you're trying to do is kind of combine them okay so what i'll say is if you wanted to do something like that the standard all applies for one flask you can get two uses like that out of it whether it's to a dagger or an arrow or something else similar and we'll i'll let you add 1d6 radiant instead got it got so it, same got amount it. of damage total but not all in one shebang because of action economy Gotcha. Um, I don't think we need watchful rest. Um, I don't have to sleep. Um, that might be useful for them, though, if they need to keep a watch and they need to yes. stay awake. Sofian, you might like heroism. I am a hero. So, yeah, let's so go. So you don't need it. Okay, great. Ah, I, <laughs> more, there's always room for more heroism, okay? I think once you take the climbing, at so. least one. I don't know that... Should we take one of the climbing? Yeah. I mean, you guys it's all skipped useful. arm day, so probably... Yes, uh, Lorelai could probably climb something without help, but it might benefit one of us to be able to climb. And I have... Um, I have... I have a, I have a spell that can help catch people if they're falling. So, at least one so, person can risk it. So would we say, both greater healings, one potion of climbing, and then one holy water or one heroism? I have one more thing of holy water in my bag already. So perhaps the heroism. Yeah. We don't want to take the rest. Not if Lorelai barely needs sleep. That's fair. We could take a heroism. Okay, so two greater healing, one potion of climbing, and one heroism potion. Confirm? Confirmed. Confirm. I'm sad these don't come in powder form, but I don't know. All right, man. <laughs> <laughs> I had to ingest it in one way. I, I the way the line of heroism. <laughs> <sighs> exactly. Oh, Lord. Should we should we take a moment and figure out who's holding what? Yes. Um, 
So, I mean, we got four potions and four scrolls. Would it be wise to give everyone a potion and a scroll? Or should we... Because I don't... I don't know. Look, I will take the uh, ball potion of heroism. All right, that's it. I'm good. I will definitely take a greater healing. Yes. And perhaps the shield of faith? Sure. Yeah, I'd rather uh, I'd rather give that to Soraya. Okay. Mm. I can take um, one of the sanctuaries and cast it. <clears throat> I think if someone else needs to have the lesser restoration, just in case I'm not near. Uh, I will take the lesser restoration. And then I don't need the potion of climbing. Um, someone else is better off with that. All right, let's get to the good part. I want this bear of a man to impress me. <laughs> All right, so a <clears throat> couple more stacks to go through. There's generic armors and weapons. Okay. There, there's a pile of these. They seem mundane. Some seem better days. Off to one side of the wagon. On the other side, there is a couple that are set apart. With the mundane, once again, four of you, you can choose four of these items. There's three different types of armor. One scale mail, one chain mail, and one studded leather. There are two each, crossbows and short bows. Along with those, they have cases and quivers holding 20 arrows each. They also have two war hammers, two maces, and a long sword. I don't need any of that. Neither do I. Um, Bear, Frontier. you you disappoint me. Frontier Village, y'all. What do you want me to tell you? <laughs> <laughs> no wonder y'all dying. God damn. Is... Uh, what am I wearing right now? I'm wearing... Leather armor. I can take the studded leather armor. Have at it. I think I I will. Wipe the blood off of it. <laughs> well, no, actually, I have that other armor. The armor of the. Uh, keeps oh, the me vampire. the vampire dude. Yeah. Well, I can't wear any of this unless we find some sort of elven town that makes specific armor for people like me. Well, I don't. If anyone doesn't necessarily need the armor, um, I mean, could anyone else benefit from the... Uh, I could probably... Well, if we can grab four anyway, let's grab the most expensive okay. ones. Well, hold on. If, if we don't need it, we should leave it for the town. Oh, hold on. Take it. Sell it back, all right? This is part of our 50%. Let's not get crazy here. We are taking from people in need. I'm in need. All right. Oh, Not like this. I'm, I saw an ass whooping of the ages last night. Okay. <laughs> and now they want me to trance out there and go chase these people down to find people who are probably dead and fight those people again. Yes. So yes, I would like to take some of these items in and sell it back. I'm gonna I'm gonna call over to, to the mayor, uh, who I'm just calling Bear from now on. <laughs> Is it okay if we grab some of this and sell it back? Will you accept such uh, a trade? So you'd like to take it out of the wagon and then hand it back to us in exchange for coin? Yes, there you go. As part of our 50% for doing this anyway, you know? I want to make sure we benefit profit, you know what I'm saying? Not this Jesus. is just to help you and us survive until the, you can return the rest of the villagers or die trying. Your your compensation has nothing to do with this. Hold on, that other part, that's not in the agreement. Or die trying. No, no, no. If it looks I, too hard, we're moving on. I... Speak for yourself, Sofian. Okay, I... she will die. I will move on. 
anyone else gonna die? Okay, about the armor, could anyone, um, I just start talking over here. <laughs> <laughs> could anyone else benefit, I don't know, I have this armor that would make you, um, the one that I got from the vampire, I don't know if we want to. I love that armor, but I don't have the body for it. What, what kind of armor was it again? Was it light armor? Yeah, I think so. It's the armor that makes you warm or cool. In oh, the parts. temperature ones. Yeah. Um... Does it raise armor class at all? I don't think so. I think it's just basic leather armor. Uh, because I can wear light armor. So, is studded leather is still light, right? Yes, it yep. is. So you could take the studded leather if you want to. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take the studded leather. Okay. Just so I have a record of it, can I can we go over who has everything so that we have a record of of stuff not going missing? So who who has the sanctuary scroll? This is why I said this. <laughs> I will take the sanctuary skull scroll. I was gonna say, I it should be a scroll. That would be awesome. Uh, who has the protection against evil? I can oh. take it. Is anyone okay. evil <laughs> or good? Uh, no. Uh, I'm good. Uh, who and who? Lorelai, you have the moonbeam as well. I can. I don't have moonbeam. I can. Okay. If we take a long rest, I can have it as a spell and not use the spell scroll. So who has the scroll? The Lesser Restoration? The no, the, the Moonbeam. Wait, oh. did we take the Lesser Restoration? Yes. What did, so, we did have we not one. take... <laughs> Carry on. Like, <laughs> post-target when you're looking at the receipt. <laughs> <laughs> did I we buy all this or not? One like... Lesser Restoration, one Sanctuary, one Protection from Evil and Good, and then did we take Moonbeam or did we take Shield of Faith? Right? I think we took Shield of Faith. Okay. I, I have Shield of Faith, okay. So, uh, okay. So you have the lesser restoration. Yes. Brian. Okay. All right. So all the items are, are so far. Who has the climbing potion? I took the climbing potion. Okay. I have one of the greater healing. Does anyone have the other? I could I take mean, both. I, <laughs> yeah, you could take both. I could take one. Yeah. You take one. So we, so we split them up. Yeah, okay. I'll try it from your dead hands. <laughs> and then, uh, Sofian, do you have the heroism? Yep. I know All what right. I got. All right. Okay, so bring Carry it back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got Brian with the Lesser Restoration scroll. I have the Sanctuary and Shield of Faith scrolls. Lorelai has the Protection from Evil scroll. Uh, Brian has the Climbing Potion. I have a Greater Healing. Lorelai has a Greater Healing. And Sofian has the Potion of Heroism. Settled. Uh, I also just looked up the studded armor. It doesn't give me anything more to my armor class, so I'm not going to take it. I mean, it might look cool. I'm pretty sure that my protective layer here looks way cooler than studded armor. It oh. does. It does. Yeah. Okay, uh, we'll just leave the, the armor here. Does anyone need any of these weapons? Well, th this is what I'll say real quick for that. We were talking. You were talking about the the armor from, from Alan Dirkwa. I will say that you can put it on if you want that that temperature benefit, Soraya. Oh, I just can't benefit from the armor. Yeah, we'll, we'll say that. Since you can't okay. wear it effectively, we're just gonna... That way you're not m missing out on anything. If you Got wanted it. to use the studded leather, Lorelai. I mean, it's up to you. I mean, the studded leather wouldn't do anything to my armor class. I looked it up too, and it's the oh, same. Oh, okay. So uh, I will, I'll take that armor. It, it serves me nothing, but it does remind me of it's a poem. Um, <laughs> what is that? What is that armor called? It's just regular leather armor, and we're just putting a note in D and D Beyond because I never actually made a magic item. Got it. And it just protects you down to like negative twenty up to like one hundred and forty degrees. Got it. So I will trade, and I will take the studded leather. Oh, actually, that actually did bump my AC up by one. But so no. Yeah. All right. What other carts of stuff do you have, Bear? All right. Do you need the crossbows or short bows or the long sword or anything? Bolts, arrows, warhammer, mace, longsword. 
I I use my rapier mostly. I use a dagger. It is old reliable. And so I already have a been. Yeah, I, I already have a crossbow. I don't really. Uh, Did you want to take any extra hands. bolts? I suppose I could take like twenty bolts. Unless you have enough. How many? Yeah. How and we still somehow we we still so oh god. <laughs> We still have some of that drow poison, right? We only sniffed or got some of it. Yeah, I think we had one I use of it left. You have one use of drow poison left. There's a total of 40 arrows and 40 bolts in the cart. Cool. I will take 20 of the bolts. Okay, so you have to grab another quiver. That's fine. Yeah, I'll, I'll grab a quiver and, and a bolt. And I will bolts. take uh, 10 bolts and finish filling up my second quiver because I already had two. And then... Uh, what else? What else was there? There was um, Warhammer, a Warhammer. Warhammer and longsword. Uh, okay. I can't use any of those. Yeah. No. Nor can I. I I can. I just don't want. To. Oh. All right. Moving on to these special <laughs> items. <clears throat> these the mayor seems very very proud of. Some of them have come from the families in the village that have contributed them towards the cause, and some were dug up from the more hidden areas of the cathedral as they went through the wreckage. <clears throat> Excuse me. So they found another plus one shield. I'm pretty sure that Lycus grabbed it last time, so it is now gone. But there is a plus one shield. There is a short sword in a wooden scabbard. And as the, the handle itself is also finely crafted wood with leather, as you pull it out, the blade is is leaf-like, coming to a fine tip, and as it penetrates the darkness, it glows with a silver, silvery light. It is a moon-touched short sword. There is also a small handheld, almost like a small knife. It's a dart. But, as the mayor explains, this is one of the many artifacts that one of the... I don't have the name in front of me right now. A villager found on their travels when they were an adventurer. And he called it a seeker dart. And it has a knack for finding its way to your target. I will take that. Sounds seeker good. Dart. I'll take the shield. I kind of want the short sword. <laughs> Have the short sword. It's way too, like, elfy for me, you know? <laughs> like, it screams of elf. He would really prefer if you only took two of these items. Oh, two? Last but not least, as you're looking at oh. these, he produces a small felt pouch. It has gold trim around the edges. It is a mix of purple and gray. And as he um, opens oh, it up, you see a finely polished pearl. And for those of you that have arcane ability, you can sense... The arcane power from this pearl. It is a pearl of power. I do not want that. How much does that sell for? The family heirloom. It is priceless. You say that, but I'm sure if I went elsewhere, they would give me a price. In fact, they would. Um, I would very much like this dart. I'm taking the shield. Do you so, actually need the shield? Yes. Why? Uh, I'm gonna like look. I'm gonna put it on my arm. You see this? I'm gonna do this. The pearl would be very good for the spellcasters. I have no desire for that. Considering you're the one that gets hit the least, I'd say you don't need the shield. Oh, hold on. I don't get hit the least because I'm wearing armor. There you go. You have armor. You don't need the shield. I take the shield off of his arm. I, like, rip it off his arm and throw it back in the cart. And I'm a fucking badass, okay? I'm gonna need that shield, so... Please well, don't make see. me waste a spell slot I on you. I think that the, the dart would be very useful. Definitely. Out of these. Um... The short sword is nice, but I, I, I don't know. Did, did we did we know exactly what the pearl of power does? 
Yes, he knows as a family heirloom. <laughs> it sells for 2,000 <clears throat> gold elsewhere. Well, yeah, it's expensive. It's worth a lot. Essentially, it allows the a spellcaster to tap into the ether and restore some of their connection with the arcane energy around them. It restores some arcane exhaustion. Mechanically, it restores a spell slot. Perhaps once, once per day. after we save these people and reunite them with their town as part of our reward, we could ask for that, pa- that pearl if you so desire it. But I have no desire for that sort of concentrated arcane energy. That would be useful for me, though. I don't have a lot of spell slots. Why don't you take the pearl? Uh, the kid will take the dart. Um, and Lorelai... Actually, Bear, can you give Lorelai this dagger I thing? I don't need it. No, nah, she really needs it. She I it. prefer my rapier, actually. She or... almost died last night. Like. <laughs> I don't think the sword is going to protect me from death. Yeah, but I it would make it better. I light, though. The sword would be good for people who don't have night vision. But, it but we also have... It'd be bad for Lorelai. Yes, it would be bad for me. And it would be bad near Lorelai. I mean, I'm gonna have a torch regardless, so... That is not the same as Moonlight. Man, I don't know. God, I I think think we can leave the swords. I think the dart, the dart, and the pearl. I think even if it's bad for Lorelai, it would be useful towards the other trial. As long as we don't use it, as long as we would use it further away from Lorelai, or we're not using it when the other drow aren't around, it will be useful to who, find the who other can drow. Wield, who can wield that sort of sword? I don't uh, think it's direct sunlight. Yeah, I would clarify something. It's not bright light, it's just direct sunlight. Yes. Got it, got it. So, got it. direct sunlight I'm fine in. It's just, I would also be wary of using it because it is. it does obviously shed light and... I don't want to attract more than we need to attract in the darkness if we are in an eclipse right now. But we are. I'll I'll have a torch no matter what. No, you won't. Yeah, I can't see, okay? Yes, and that's what got us into the trouble last time, too. So, no, you won't. I will say, I do desperately want this dart, but the dart only is powerful once before it just becomes a normal dart. It doesn't sound that powerful. It's a dart. If if I throw this dart at any target within 120 feet and he's not dexterous enough to dodge out of the way, it does uh, normal dart damage and a lot of lightning damage as well. We should try this out. Yeah, it only it has on. one charge before it becomes a normal dart. Oh, God, yeah, Soraya, try it out on Sophium. I mean, it wouldn't take me down. So I, oh. I think we have to be very careful with how we use this dart if we take it. That might be something we save for them, like later in a battle, perhaps. Perhaps if we if we know that some enemy is okay, uh, very painful with lightning damage. As part of our cafe sexy coffee times, would you be willing to give uh, my exoskeleton-like friend an additional magical item from this cart? We didn't take any of the armor. Would you be willing to trade? All the oh, well, we took one. Or yeah, we, took one. If we. But we also have to remember we are leaving some of this for the town. Yes, that's true. So if the pearl might be good for you, but would it be better in the hands of the priest so he can cast more healing if we leave? The priest is probably high eleven, has more spell slots than I do. <laughs> what has level? more capacity for arcane power? Correct. Yes. <laughs> Leveling. What is it? So we have the shield that gives you extra armor. We have the pearl that gives you more ability to cast spells. We have the dart that does extra damage, and then we have the short sword that gives off light. And it sounds like at the base we're taking the ball for exoskeleton, and we're taking the... No, no, the ball is for Brian. It's the same thing. Oh, that's exoskeleton. I thought you were talking about me because I look so thin. No, no, you're scrawny <laughs> kid. <laughs> not gonna lie, I thought the same thing. It's not you. <laughs> <laughs> Just because of the word skeleton. 
and the dart for this child. Perhaps if, but if there is something else we need more, I can. I'm content with so, the this sword. Will okay. be useful here for them to protect against the darkness. Okay, so let's do it. The pearl and the dart. Okay, All right. and then we have the short sword there. Let's go. Are we good? Is there I have anything a else? <laughs> date to go to. Yes, actually, I'm sorry, but finally, if you choose to take it, you can have one of these two items. He holds up a necklace that has gold trim around a ruby red heart, and the heart itself looks almost like a carved ruby, but at the same time, it almost looks hollow, as though there's some type of liquid within. And on the other hand, there is a clay jar that has a stopper in the top, and as he opens it, you can smell... It's a mixture of spices, not spices, I can't even think of the word I'm looking for. It's a very alchemical spell. It's kind of it's kind of Like sweet. Vix? Yeah, Vix is a good example. We'll go with that. Why not? <laughs> I, he's holding them both out to you. He says, you can choose one of these. We could use them, but since you have been so fair with the rest, I believe it's fair to offer. What's the necklace do? Is that the a necklace? wound closure? The necklace is a periaptive wound closure. <sighs> I need and it! The jar is a jar ketones of ointment. ketones ointment. Yes. Okay, so the, the necklace is very, very good for protecting one person, and the ointment is very good for spreading healing to multiple people. I think that I could very much use this necklace, and it would make sense for them to keep the ointment to heal many people a bit. I agree. Yeah, can the child have the heart liquid thing? Of course, that's why I offer. Oh my god, I may not die next session, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see that. let's go find some drow. Very well. Well, would I be able to? Uh, are we? Am I? Are we keeping this armor and stuff that we take? Yes. Like, are we keeping it like forever? Unless you wish to return it when you are done, consider okay, it a I'm gift. I'm going to. I, I take off my leather armor and I'm going to leave it for them. I'll do the trade. <laughs> Alright. Reaching from the side of the cart behind it, he produces a small burlap satchel. And he points, he motions behind the wagon as well. He says, These are from the offerings the axiomatic general uh, since the cathedral has been burned. I don't know what use you may have of coinage in the Darkwood, but some people do live within and we, they may take you in in exchange for a copper or two. Uh, we gathered all we could find within the rubble and he tosses it to you. I'll grab for it. bookkeeping purposes it's 400 copper, 70 silver 10 gold. Okay, I got it. Got it. And he takes a, a larger burlap sack out and he plops on the wagon and this may help sustain you through the long nights. And it's dried winter vegetables, roots, salted meats, etc. It's ten rations. Now, uh, there are not many people left in the village. However, if you choose to do so, if you would like to spend the time, you may be able to find more things you can purchase uh, with from the townspeople themselves. Some shops have been reopened. Uh, they won't be able to give you anything for free as we have, because they only do reorder things to resupply and repair the town, of course. If you would be on your way, then you can take the north road through the dark wood. Um, there is an old hunting trail that passes closer to the spikes. It is shorter in length, but it goes through the wood and is significantly more dangerous. This is up to you. I do not know how far ahead or how fast they travel. We we'll take the safe route. The north road is safer, of course, yes, but the dark wood is never entirely safe, especially not so in the night, as we seem to be perpetually stuck in. Do but you there's... have um, an like an apothecary shop where I might go to um, re-up my? My arcane supplies for casting spells. 
Indeed, uh, Vikrok is, uh, he has a root cellar, he calls it. Or, well, we call it. He, he puts up with us. He is one of the descendants of the Vic Mordry. He's been here many, many decades. Uh, he, he was sent home because he's too weak to move rubble around and he needs the rest, but you can find him there in the heart of the village. You can follow your nose. Easy to find. Cool. Should we uh, go our separate ways and meet back here in an hour to go f north and see uh, if these items can prevent y'all from dying? Perhaps we should uh, divide up this coin for safekeeping. I did some quick math and uh, we could all take 100 copper, 17 silver, and 2 gold, and we would have two silver and two gold left over for perhaps some sort of uh, communal fund if we need to buy something as a group. We can do that. I don't want to be responsible for keeping that extra money. How much again are we each getting? getting? 100 yeah. copper. All right. 17 silver and two gold. Okay, cool. And how can much I get that just in copper? <laughs> and the extra is two silver and two gold for two Brian. Two silver and two gold, okay. Yeah. I'll hold it. I don't think I need a full hour to get my stuff. I just need a couple more, um, a little bit of mistletoe. Oh. I some... I would like an hour to get to uh, get to know this necklace. <laughs> oh, and I got a date, so. <laughs> okay, then I guess we will split up and. Uh... I will I will be here, uh, for when you are all ready. We can meet back here. All right. All right, come on, bear man. Let's go get this coffee. As he, he turned to step away, you see Igor smile over his shoulder at you. Let reaches down, grabs Sophia, and puts him on his shoulder, and walks into town. Oh my god! Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> Sophia's head is now dangling about six feet above the ground. Woo! Oh my king of the world, Titanic! <laughs> I will uh, put the necklace on and. Just look at it for a moment it, and uh, take off the locket that I already have and place it in a pocket and replace it with the, the necklace and then try to just sort of find a, a quiet corner to get a few minutes of shut eye. Gonna put your locket in a pocket. Lock it in a pocket. It, lock it lock in it, a pocket. pocket. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a technical question, which I'm sure you're gonna be fine with because we've discussed this before. For the hour of which we are doing this, can I take the time to write a chapter from just like one chapter from previous stuff and like catch up on writing for previous events? Of course you can. Cool. That's that's what I will be doing. Okay. So Laura, you all split up. Just for fun, um Sofian? <laughs> I'm going to need an athletics check and a constitution save. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> oh, those are my favorite roles. Well, let me find found. There we go. All right. So a athletics check. Uh, this is an interesting date already. Uh, and a constitution saving throw. Okay. Okay. So, for the next <clears throat> for the next hour, you suffer from one level of exhaustion. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Jesus. <laughs> However, despite what took place, you find yourself oddly not very sore. <clears throat> pretty pretty good shape. Did good. Okay. So, Lorelai, oh, yeah. make your way into the heart of the town, and as you were told, you you follow your nose, and before long, you pick up faint and then increasingly stronger sense of almost like churned earth, and then the sweet smell of sarsaparilla and a hint of onion lingering out the windows into the town square, and you follow it to a very small store with a, a bare wooden unadorned counter in the middle, and sitting behind there. In a rustic rocking chair, you see a bald individual. He seems 
relatively thick and hardy for his age. He has a long silver beard that comes into a point and then kind of loops around in three or four different circles beneath, kind of ornamentally, with a wooden ring holding it all together. As you looking in the window, you open the door, and his eyes half open, he turns his head to you. And he greets you. Long night to you. Welcome to Vikrook's wood cellar. Uh, root cellar. Babe, what can I help you with, lass? Um, hello. Uh, my name's Lorelai. I, um, we're about to set out, we're the party setting out to go help find your fellow villagers. I was wondering if you had any, um, like arcane supplies, like any mistletoe or sumac leaves or spruce leaves. Um, I need to restock. I should, like, pull her hair over her shoulder and, like, start getting pieces of it. He strokes his beard. Mistletoe. Yes. I think I have what you may be looking for. And he stands up and you hear a creaking sound. You're not entirely certain if it's the rocking chair or his joints as he slowly rises to his feet and he shuffles across the room. He waves over to you. Come, lass, come. Follow me. And he opens the door and goes down into a dimly lit cellar. And within, you see the cellar itself is three times the size of the store above. There's rows upon rows of clay jars, bowls, boxes, all sorts of dried herbs and roots and spices and everything you could possibly imagine. He stands at the bottom. I'm a bit tired. Um, you, you can show yourself around. You seem worldly enough. Just, um, let me know what you take and leave a fair amount on the counter. I am going to go rest. It's all right. Okay, thank you. Light be with you, child. He climbs back up the stairs, creaking as he goes. I will go around and find mistletoe and sumac leaves and spruce leaves and all sorts of stuff for my potential spells that I might use. Okay. You can find pretty much anything you need here. There's a, a, all sorts of things from this area, and it also seems as though he gets periodic shipments, and there's things that you don't even really recognize here. So whatever you need, he'll have it. I will find a bunch of stuff. Uh, I guess I can just get twigs and stuff outside. <laughs> All right, I will take everything that I need. Oh, what is this? Oh, I might need that. Okay. So, should I tell you everything that I got and then... Or... No, it's fine. I'm trusting you to manage your spell components. Just okay. let me know how much you leave on the counter for them. Okay. Uh, hold on, let me be sure I have everything that I might need. I see. Okay, I think... I will leave... how much do I have? I will leave... Um, what I know like the average cost of like a bundle of just like herbs of like mistletoe and like a little bit of iron and stuff is. Yeah, you would know a fair price for these things. Okay, then I'll leave a little bit more than the fair price. So, whatever that okay. is. Maybe like... I don't know. <laughs> I, I was gonna say about two silver. I was gonna say I would leave like five silver. If you want to, that's fine. Yeah, I'll leave five silver <clears throat> on the countertop. Okay, you got it. Alright. So with that, you climb back up the stairs. You see he is sleeping restfully, and you walk out, the scent fading as you proceed down the dark roads. With all of our party wrapping up their individual business... Uh, one thing. <clears throat> um, Go ahead. Is, is Brian, Brian, are you writing near where Soraya is sort of catching some... Shot I? Probably. Uh, then around the, the end of that hour mark, I will uh, go over to him and sit somewhat near, but sort of a safe distance and go, um, you are well read, yes? Fair. Fairly, yes. Um, 
do you know any sort of um, mythology or histories about uh, powerful artifacts? Uh, would I know? I, I feel like I would know certain ones, like popularized ones, that would be in the adventure stories I would know, but Joey, would I, would I know of anything? You do have knowledge of some powerful artifacts, the lore around them, whether it be true or not, but anything in particular would depend on what she's referring to. I know of popularized, adventured, and explored artifacts. Is there one in particular you have in mind? I don't know. Um, I am often plagued by nightmares, as I was last night. And I often see scenes of uh, my past, mistakes I have made. But last night I, I saw something new, something that I either don't remember or have never seen before. And I th thought, perhaps, since you seem knowledgeable, you may have seen this thing that I felt. What does it look like? And I, like, pull out my little sketch paper and my drawing stuff. It was some sort of uh, towering crystal or, or some sort of prism. It reflected light in... in a, a beautiful colors, but I just felt darkness and and power, dark power coming from it. It had energy around it, arcane sort of uh, energy all over it, like it was emanating from this thing, like it was the center of something powerful and evil and I couldn't look away but I could not understand it. Have you heard of such a thing? I mean based on the description it sounds a little bit like the moon shard but he said no, it's no, a this was, this was enormous feet high triple quadruple my size this was a, a fixture unless I was small but this felt like something else entirely, something far more powerful, far darker. DM, would there have been anything in my lore that would have sounded similar to that? Give me a history check. Cool, cool. I now have double proficiency in that. Click. Hey Oh, 23. <laughs> no. I figured it's going to be one of those things. Well, and I'll have like a drawing of like what I roughly feel like you're talking about. And I'll like keep showing you as you keep telling me and adjust it as you go. Uh, no, I, I don't. This doesn't look or sound quite familiar. Maybe it's something you're just imagining? Maybe you're right. Um, I'm sorry for bothering you. I mean... And I'll sort of walk away. You didn't really bother me, but okay. And I'll just, I'll just kind of like fold up the paper and like put it in my pocket and put all my drawing stuff away. And... All right. Well, your pre-journey business seemingly completed. We will take a break. Uh, <clears throat> when we come back, we will start your trek northward into the Darkwood. Hopefully, rescue the citizens of Rebalka. Everybody else, thank you for sticking around. Really glad you're with us. It's really, really awesome. Let me come over here so I can, I'm ready for the break. Um, bio break, stretch your legs. Thank you for being here. Please, if you haven't done so yet, consider inviting your friends if you're enjoying it and telling us you enjoy it because that's awesome. And yeah, we'll see y'all when we come back. Five, ten minutes, all right? Don't go anywhere.
See y'all then. All right, we are back. So, thank you everybody for sticking around. Our brave adventurers, you come back together toward the edge of town. Mayor Igor is there, a sufficiently rosy-cheeked grin on his face as he stands there with Sophia. I'm like high-fiving him. Did you have fun on your excursion, Sofian? Yeah, my knees hurt. I'm sore, but God damn it, it was a lovely time. I'm curious, was the uh, dark version of you uh, an watching? Active yes. No, watching, not an active participant. That'd be weird. Of course, that is where the line is. Of yeah, course. and I'll high five my shadow echo. <laughs> Shall we off? <clears throat> Mayor Igor, as you are all greeting each other and get done as you're about to step off, he gives you final words, parting words. As I was saying before, the there's a haunting trail that goes near the mountains, and then there is the North Road. It is more well traveled. It is perhaps safer, perhaps not. Who can say in these dark nights? But. I have received word from my scouts that went to follow the trail a bit after discovering what happened to you. They encountered encountered snares and and things of that nature as though they anticipate being followed. So be on your guard. And in addition, if that were not bad enough, it seems as though even the normal dangers of the dark wood have increased fivefold. Uh, the creatures that dwell within seem more ravenous and more aggressive even coming within torchlight which is very uncommon you may find allies within if they have not all succumbed to the darkness but be careful who you trust all the same and will you remind me of uh, the, the name of the place we believe these people are being held Adrix Folly uh, in normal times it is Three days travel if you were to be moving quickly along the north road not many take the path along the mountains but, mm. uh, it, did you contact the family and ask them if they are dead what would they like us to bring back I did not okay uh, I think most people are preparing preparing themselves for that fact but would rather not think of it ah okay and uh, forgive me, Adrix Folly, is that uh, on the other side of this forest, or is it inside the forest? It is the other side of the Darkwood, to the north. On the westernmost point of the northern mountains, uh, Arnott's Spear, as we call it. It is an, an ancient structure used during the conquest of this area by the Clavic Kingdom. It has long been abandoned, but if they are not heading there, then I have no idea where they may be heading. As good a place as any. Well, Do you think we should, uh, hmm? uh, we should head across the the road most traveled? Is yes. probably the safest. Yes. Yeah. Probably the safest after what happened in the woods. Yeah. You would not happen to have uh, horses or a wagon that you could spare. We do not, unfortunately. Uh, they Sorry. seem to have all been either destroyed or run off in the night during the assault on the cathedral. Right. Watch them be like 10 feet away from the town, but everything <laughs> pitch black, so I just can't see yeah. them. <laughs> uh, we should get going before it is... Uh, it's hard to say before it gets dark, but before it is too late. Yeah. Igor, you've gave me an ass worth fighting for. Mm. Uh, so I will see the... I don't know. After this. When I own that house. Alright, let's go. Okay, yes, <laughs> let's just go. Light guide you, friends. You shall, need, you shall need it. He turns back into town, and you all travel off into the dark countryside. The North Road leaves Rebalka. Generally, this part up before you get to the dark wood proper, the thickest part of it. 
is hilly and obviously it's all snow covered. The road winds its way through many hills. It is, is muddy in many places, ice covered in others. A very similar path to that which well no, that was during that was during our test session, so forget that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Those are good times. <laughs> so traveling along, I would like to know what each of you are doing. If, for example, you are keeping watch, if you are uh, attempting to make any items, etc. Because you are traveling, but and it is dangerous, but it is only so so long that you can stare into the darkness and not see anything. Also, if you're using any light, just give me all the good player information so I have that at my disposal, please. Are um, we going to be using any lights? Yeah. That is unwise. Am I supposed to hold someone's hand for this whole well, experience? We can, we can take rope if need be, if you don't want to be that close. You, I don't want to be tied to one of you, like... I'm not tied, but hold really on that to the concern, rope. You can whisper Marco Polo with somebody. Oh, yeah, yeah, that sounds, that sounds fucking great. I'm sure no monster is going to take advantage of that. Saraya will be 15 feet behind uh, everybody and uh, with no light but using uh, my dark vision uh, with my crossbow out and just uh, checking our sticks and making sure there is uh, nothing nefarious coming up behind us. I can be in the front since I also have dark vision, like superior dark vision. So I'll lead the way and I'll be looking in front of us and like off to like the sides to see if there's anything in our path where can i be with my torch is my question Y'all you can me. be in, in the path. middle without your torch okay we'll, we'll be spending i don't know how many days tracking this you know what happens to a person when they can't see for several days Fine, then have your Did torch, I but I will be even no. further away. Yeah, y'all y'all just be further away. I'll have my torch so circling like, around if, me. If you have some rope, can I just, like, tie myself to you so that I don't have to necessarily follow right behind you or anything, but I can still... Don't, can't you see? Keep what? No. Who do you want to tie yourself to? Me? Lola, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yeah, that's fine. Let's do this! So so I will actually be 20 feet behind uh, Sofian. I got my torch. Oh no, uh, Sarai, you don't have to worry about that. Press the digitation, torch is out. <laughs> Let me make this clear. I'm not leaving unless I can take a torch. You're putting everyone, including yourself, at risk if you do have a torch. I can't fight if I can't see. Then that will be a pro. Then I will light your torch if we get into a battle in the dark. Until that point, or you you'll get... be without one. No. Hold on. We have to remember this is not the dark forest where we made this mistake. We are on a road, a road that is fairly well traveled. It would be uh, expected to see some travelers, and we are perhaps uh, slightly more equipped to defend ourselves than the average traveler. Yes, it's still expected, but that doesn't mean that that's a good thing. Of course. It does. But if Sofian cannot attack and cannot defend himself without light, you're gonna want the it. sacrifice we will have to make. Do we want to have the torch in the middle of the group or at the front of the group? I can if have, have it at the front. Torch. You'd rather have it at the front? If it's at front, at least the rest of us can try to hide in shadow cover. Yes. Okay. All right. Right. Let's go. I will Even. press the digitation, Fine. the torch back. Torch alone. I will be 15 feet behind whoever <sighs> is in the rear. Okay. So be you, Sofian, then me, then Brian, then Sarai. I'm still tied to Lorelai just in case I need to snuff out the torch for any reason. <laughs> All right. Very well. I'm going to put the torch in front of me so that I block line of sight from said torch. So this this bright orange beacon flares and pushes back the oppressive darkness all around you. Within the sphere of light surrounding this, reflecting off the white snow around and the muddy ground below, you see the flecks of snow 
virtually continually falling as you make your way through the countryside. Based out as you are, keeping an eye all around you. I need a perception check with advantage from somebody. Um, uh, I can... <laughs> no. <laughs> I can do it if no one else wants to. Yes, I am no. somewhat good, but not super good. Okay. Matter of fact, receiving things. pause there. One of y'all give it to me. The other one has to be Sofian because he's in the front with the light. Mm. There's two, two separate dynamics. There. I can if you oh. don't want to. So one without... Advantage yeah, one. Sofian gives me a normal roll. Oh, okay. And then I'll somebody else, somebody else, give me a normal roll. So normally I can click my character to bring up my saves and skills and stuff, but I don't have my character on the map. Correct. So just go to your character sheet if you don't mind. Okay. Da, da, da. Da, da. Okay. I'll Brian. Go. Okay, you got it. Okay. Wow. Yeah, okay. What the oh. fuck? Are you sure? No. <laughs> I no. was. Oh wait, my my thing is glitching. Yeah, mine as well. Same. Oh, okay, that's not just me. But it's I. Yeah. It's probably loading up the new map. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, what did y'all roll? Twelve. I rolled a six. Okay. Proceeding on along the north road quiet and enveloping you you can almost hear the snowfall aside from the crunching steps of your foot feet on the muddy road beneath the old north road up ahead curves sharply to the east but in this dim light that sharp sharp curve could only be a short bend hard to tell enough footprints from a small crowd remain here on the road having turned up dust that you can follow it with relative ease. With, pen with darkness stretching on as far as the eye can see outside of Sofian's torchlight, it's impossible to say how far ahead they may be. But you can tell that they were here relatively recently as the footprints have not been buried in snow too deeply and that there were many of them traveling together. So Walking. Do, go, ahead, go ahead, sorry. No, no, you're good. Uh, I was going to say, does it look like we could catch up if we accelerate? You give me a survival check, try and figure it out. But I would lick the dirt. Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. You can tell that you are, I would say you can tell that you are many hours behind them. They have passed within the last probably five or six. They seem to be moving at a relatively quick pace as the, the footsteps are deep in the mud. Mm. As far as whether or not you can catch them if you speed up, slow down, that is almost impossible to tell. However, as you're investigating all the tracks, you notice that the part you're standing in, the ground here is different than the rest of the road. It's all been mud and ruts. And this particular patch you stop to investigate, it seems as though the ground has been almost churned uh, with a shovel. It's, it's loose, it's softer. And as you step back and try to get a better bearing on what's happening you feel a hand come up and grip you on the ankle pale skin skin pulling away from the fingertips clasped on tight to your ankle and then three or four places around you you see rising limbs and heads and torsos of zombified drow like in the basement of the cathedral ah oh, hell no I need y'all to roll for initiative. Were they uh, back? Uh, were they like fast or? Well, what type of zombies or undead were they? What do you mean? Like, are we talking about 30, 30 days later zombies? Uh, old Romero type zombies? Are they shuffling? Are they sprinting at us? 
they're rising up from the ground at this time. Well, the the ones that were before, since they are so similar. They they moved they moved relatively slowly compared to normal people, indeed. Okay. I would say uh, Sarai is in the back of this line. <laughs> Sophia, I'm just gonna go past them. Is anyone else's map still glitching for them? Yeah. Uh, I, I re go ahead and refresh. I refreshed mm. and it fixed itself. Okay. Ah, oh, there we go. Turn it off and on again. Yeah. Internet speeds. <clears throat> Internet speeds. All right. So, Sophion, I need you to give me. Uh oh, I lost connection to the server. Interesting. When... Seems like it came back up. There we go. Sophion, I need you to give me an athletics check to avoid the grapple. All right. Athletics or acrobatics? It's still ref oh no active game. Nope. Uh, Did the whole thing crash? Admin access key necessary. Hold on. Let me refresh my mind then. The server might have crashed. Boop. Oh no. Uh, of but course it's it... gonna happen as soon as we get into something. Yeah, if it helps, I got a seven on D D Beyond. Okay, seven. Good to know. Let it take us just a second to jump back in. Guys, thanks for watching this stream. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't done so yet, follow and subscribe. We really need the support. Ah, there we go. It's back up. You wither without your magic. Yeah, it's back up. We're like fairies in that way. Loading okay. in. It's touching me. All right. We need to find us some goggles of night. That's what we need to do. That's almost like you guys had a a light, a light an emanating sword. <laughs> well, oh, we my, got a torch. Torch is goggles, fine. Goggles of night or dark vision. That's true. What we need Where's is the like is also light. Uh, a Ford Focus um, or something like that. That would make this infinitely better. If we're talking about magical stuff. Uh-oh. 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 It went uh -oh. back again, though. Nope. Yeah, it did. It's down again. I was about to say, mine still hasn't loaded from the first time I refreshed. <laughs> yep. Don't, you guys don't try to log in until I tell you, because it looks like maybe oh. Amazon AWS is having some issues. Uh-oh. Let it load up all the way. All right, let's just act it out with action figures. <laughs> if we have to, if we have to, we will theater of the mind the whole thing. Nilla cookies the whole time. Wait, I have goldfish. We can use the goldfish as tokens. <laughs> Mitchell's just trying to get us as many sponsors as we can. <laughs> I also have vanilla Oreos. All of the D&D wanna... snack sponsors. <laughs> I sure do love listening to my AirPods. <laughs> <laughs> What else do I have? Yeah, that's right. We gotta make sure that we plug everybody on Twitter. Like, hey, look, right. this, this, this. As seen on Fable Forge RPG. That's right. <laughs> you don't know what kind of sponsorship opportunities you are missing. Yeah. Ooh, want to stay anonymous? Get yourself a flesh mask. Oh my oh god. god. Oh, just, Everyone just should have a flesh mask. All right, so one at a time. Let me go by combat tracker to make this easier. So you first, Shabes. Okay. And can we pop back in? Uh, yeah. Just what I'm saying is, let everybody load in one at a time to make sure we're not overloading it for some weird reason. Yeah. It's Amazon. We shouldn't, but who knows? Once your uh... starts, once your map and everything comes up, Shabes, we'll move on. You'll be next, Mitch. <laughs> Everyone should have a flesh mask. I don't know why you shouldn't. I already have a flesh mask. It's called my face. <laughs> you need to get another. You need a second pair. I don't need an outside flesh mask. You <laughs> ain't a flesh mask. <laughs> okay, I am loaded in. All right. All right. I'm clicking yep. the Mitch? button. Let me do 
The second one's my favorite flesh match. I am in. All right. Next up is going to be Sammy. Join. <clears throat> and we are back. That's what I'm talking about. Pew pew. We're good. All right, Lexi, last but certainly not least. All right, so, setting up the scene here. The zombie reached up, grabbed Sofian's ankle. You jerk your leg away and dart back five feet as four of them rise up out of the ground, all between Sofian and the rest of your party because of where he was at. Brian, you have the initiative. What are you going to do? It's what I say. Oh, sorry. I'm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I will move up fifteen feet. Okay. And I will. I'll go ahead and try and shoot one of them with my crossbow. I'll shoot the far left one. Okay. Oh, you need to put my uh, shadow. Okay. Do me a favor. Uh, I will do that. Do me a favor and let me know. I'm not familiar with that. Uh, let me know if that's like a permanent thing or if it like has a duration or whatever. I'm yeah, not it's, with it's, it's permanent until someone destroys it. Okay. Does the 10 it. hit? 10 hits. Cool. 10 nice. piercing. Awesome. Crossbow bolt flies out to the one directly to your left, Sofian. Sticks in the rib cage, <laughs> knocks it back, and it continues lunging in your direction. Anything else, Brian? Mm -mm. All right, Sofian, you are up. Um, Uh, I will mentally command uh, the other Sofian to get uh, move 30 feet. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to bonus action swap places with it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and and it's just, just like a, it's like a teleport, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm just like, Phew! you see like the, the, the shadows between them like meld and then they flip through time uh, as I just, I'm going, I'm out. All right. So there, is there anything about Echo Knight that prevents opportunity attacks? Uh, not the Echo Knight itself. It can always take a opportunity attacks against me, but it counts as an object, not a creature. Okay, got it. Yeah, so then I, I, after I was here, I think. So after that, I'm just, I'm off the map. Okay, anything else? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right. Sora, you see this take place. What are you doing? Uh, I am staying where I am, but I am aiming my crossbow at the one that I saw Brian hit, and I will try to hit it as well. Go for it. That is a 15 to hit, and just two points of piercing. <laughs> 15 definitely, hit, definitely hits. Another bolt penetrates the torso. <clears throat> Continuing on, not phased. That's it? Uh, yes, that is it. Lorelai. Okay, I'm going to run up. Uh, are they, like, right in front of me right here? You kind of, you would be busting through their line getting on the other side. Okay, I want to stop, like, right in front of them. Okay. And so then... there, there, or there, either way. Okay. Uh, I'll just stay there, and I want to start stabbing at them with my rapier. Oh, hopefully it goes good. I haven't been good at these lately. <laughs> That's a 10 to hit and a 6 damage. Okay. Are you targeting the same one they have been or a different one? Uh, different one. Okay. Do the one closest to you otherwise. You got it. Rapier goes out. <laughs> You see bits of skin peel off and almost fall like dust amongst the snow as you rip your rapier out. And it turns towards you. It is interested in you now. Anything okay. else? Oh, no, that's going to be it. All right. 
so this zombie is going to attack you, Lorelei. It lunges towards you, hands out. 17 to hit. Hit it. For six bludgeoning damage. Okay. Massive arm comes around, swings towards your head. Do you have... What are you doing with your Echo Knight and everything over there, Mitch? Because you just bolted him out. Here you did. When the Echo Knight is out of my range, it just disappears. In 30 feet to my range, and I'm like 30 feet more that way. Okay, so it ran off 30 feet. You swap places with it. So is it like right at 30 feet there? Uh, so uh, the the order was it it moved 30 feet out over here. We mm -hmm. uh, switched places, and then I moved 30 more feet from my current location, putting me about 60 feet away from the battle. Uh, and so okay. at the end of my turn, if I'm ever 30 feet away from it, it just vanishes. Okay, so your Echo Knight is gone right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me remove... I'll remove that token. Perfect. All right. So now, is your speed twenty-five? Oh yeah. Uh, That's so... true. So he's fifty feet away. Yeah. There you go. Okay. That means all four zombies are focused on Lorelai. <gasps> oh god. <laughs> they all move in. Stop fighting zombies! Dang it. Three more attacks. One. Two. Three. All right, so first one is a 10 to hit Lorelei. That misses. Next one is a 21. That hits, I guess. And last one is a 7. That misses. All right, so the one that hits only does four bludgeoning damage. Okay. But now they are surrounding you all together. All right, we're back to the top. Brian Lorelei is getting swarmed in the middle of the road. Sophion bolted with his torch. Uh, 50 feet away down the road now. What are you doing? Um... Let's see what I have. Can I... I don't have much for, like, multiple things, so I'm just gonna hit another one with the crossbow. I'm gonna back up a little bit first. Okay. Um... Eh. And then I'm going to shoot the one at the bottom, the, su the most southern one, with my crossbow. It's the same one that has two bolts already sticking in its torso. Yes. Okay. Click. Oh, please. That's a 12 to hit for six piercing. You got it. Bolt flies into the back, kind of knocks into Lorelei a little bit, and she pushes it away before readying her next attack. It's still on its feet. It's still going. Oh, um, yeah, that's, um, uh oh, mm. nope, that's all I can do. All right, Sofian, from 50 feet away, what are you going to do? Uh, oh, man, uh, so after, like, catching his breath, uh, bonus action, summon the echo again. Okay. Um, just be like, guys, guys, just go around. That's it. They're slow. And he'll just be guarded with his knife up, uh, waiting. Uh, that's it for me. All right. Soraya, you're up. Um, I'm going to uh, aim at the zombie that uh, I have already been hitting. I'm going to uh, breathe cool air in my hand and then fire it out at him uh, and cast Frostbite. So that's a constitution saving throw. You got it. It rolled a 10. That is a failure. So he takes yep. uh, two points of cold damage and has disadvantage on his next weapon attack roll. You got it. Frost covers the vast majority of its body, encasing its head as it starts slowly le lurch out towards Lorelei. Is that it? That is it, yes. Lorelei, you're up. Okay, um, this kind of sucks. So, hold on. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to... I'm a wild shape. Uh, I've been looking... <laughs> I'm going to okay. wild shape into a... Oh, what would be the best thing here? 
A dog because there's bones? A dog because there's bones. Uh, I'll do a, I'll do a, I'll do a, a giant lizard. Oh, no, I can't do a giant lizard. I'll do a wolf. I'll do a wolf. So I'll wild shape into a wolf as my bonus action, and then I'm going to bite the one that looks most dangerous. All right. So fur goes all over your skin. You get down on all fours. Your body morphs. Massive maw in front of him snapping, but you're blind. Unless you keep unless you keep your senses. I don't think you do in wild shape. I could be wrong. I think I do as combat wild shape. Mm -hmm. Are you circle of the moon? Yes. Oh, okay. So do you keep your senses? Do you keep your vision? Let me see. Let me make sure. Be sure. Let me be sure, be sure. I thought they got replaced by the creature. Uh it doesn't say. Let me see. Uh oh yeah, your game statistics are replaced by the statistics of the beast. I retain my proficiencies. Take their hit dice. Can't talk. I retain the benefit of any features from my class, race, or other source and can use them if my new form is capable of doing so. I can't use any of my special senses such as dark vision. Okay, that's fine. There you go. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna keep your token near it. Okay. But... So, the wolf is blinded, but you can smell the odor of <laughs> death and decay all around you, and you can sense them surrounding you. Attack, since you're blinded, attack is going to be with disadvantage. Disadvantage, okay. What yes. is the bite attack? Okay, disadvantage. I'll just do it d20 since I can't do it on. That's fine. Oh, it's uh, going to be a plus four. Yes. Yeah, you've got the stats there. Okay, so disadvantage. So that was an 11 plus four, so 15 to hit. It hits. All right, and so that's going to be. Let's see. Is it two D four plus two? Uh, eight damage total, and they must succeed on a DC eleven strength saving throw or be knocked prone. All right, give me one second here. Right, strength saving throw. All right, so roll to four for the strength saving throw. I see you lunge out, snap on his torso, drag it to the ground, start ripping into its dead flesh. It's fighting you off. It pushes you away. It's still alive, uh, but it's moving very slowly. It is very, very fucked up. Okay, and then I would like. Oh well, no, I'm gonna get so many opportunity attacks. One of them will be an advantage. See. Oh, uh, should I do it? I'll try to. I want to try to run past them. Yeah, what's the worst that could happen? Okay, I want to try to run past them, run through them. All right. So, where are you going? Uh, I just want to go like straight in any direction since I can't see. So just like any direction. There's fire. Okay. In we'll this say direction. we'll say that you're well, yeah, gonna go. I can see the fire that if he's holding his torch, then I would go towards the torch. Yeah, I was gonna say you're gonna go towards the light. Okay. So get some opportunity attacks in. One of them's at disadvantage. Correct. And he's at disadvantage because he's prone too. So. Woohoo. So nineteen to hit. That hits. That's four. Okay. And eleven to hit. That misses. Okay. This third regular attack, that is a 19 to hit for two. For two, okay. okay. And then disadvantage. 12 to hit for four. That misses. All right. So seeing the light, you lock on with a howl. You leap across the muddy road, pushing two of them to the side. They lash out and slam into your body. <clears throat> and you, what's your speed? My speed is 40 feet. Okay, so you can get all the way up by Sophie on if you like. Yes. Hey, Laura. Right. How's it going? <laughs> I'm breathing heavily. No! <laughs> all right, so I will say that the zombies are attracted to the light. Does that make sense? Let's see. What's their speed? Double check speed. 20. They are going to take 
what is essentially a bonus action dash for them. This one's only going to get halfway because he was prone, so he stands up and moves. So, the one that's on the ground that's completely jacked up by the wolf small and the crossbow bolts clambers to his feet and starts in your direction. Meanwhile, the other three take their entire movement to get over there around you, and that is all they can do. Brian, you are up again. What are you going to do? Uh, I will move a little bit more forward. I'll spend half my movement. And then I will do a cross bolt at this far one behind everybody. The you one got that's it. Falling behind. Don't fail me now, dice. Cool. That's a ten to hit for. Ten hits. Something pick five five piercing. Five. Yes, five, five piercing. All right. Make a like constitution things, saving throw. Everything's like in the way. <laughs> bolt flies out, <clears throat> knocks him forward. <clears throat> he turns. Starts heading in your direction. Still up. Okay. <laughs> Zombies, man. Anything else? Uh, can I can I try and like quietly move over here so that he's walking a different direction? <laughs> you certainly can. Cool. <laughs> All right, Sophion. Three zombies are right in front of your Echo and Lorelai hashtag Wolf. What are you gonna do? <laughs> God dang it, I gotta take care of this shit now. God damn it, Lorelai. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Oh, dogs. Fucking <laughs> hell. Uh, so, yeah, I will take the attack action and smack this zombie next to me. You got uh, it. After I move. Get my dagger. <laughs> With a 15 to hit and 7 damage. You got it. Dagger Whoosh. slices out. <laughs> Carve a bunch of dead flesh off its body. <clears throat> Fill up. It's the, oh my god. Lord, this one... I had one job was to get away from them. You brought them to me. This one was uninjured until now. What the hell, Lord? I... <laughs> um... <laughs> And I will use Incarnate, which lets me, during an attack action, make another attack action uh, with uh, my Echo. Uh, so he will attack this one. Okay. That one is also uninjured. Oh uninjured. my god! You brought this Lorelei! We've been hitting one of them. <laughs> <laughs> so 15 oh, for 8 damage. You got it. As the other one goes, go. And I'm like, Dagger. yeah! They got some damage on them. Is that it? Oh, my God. Um, I'll action surge. Okay. Uh, so attacking this one. Uh, seven damage. You got it. This one's it's... stumbling now. It's still up, though. Oh, my God, Lorelai! <laughs> God! <laughs> this is like... This is like round three. I mean, <laughs> and the first round you spent all running. The second round you spent all talking. So I well, mean, <laughs> run from it. And she brought it to me. I was like, God. I feel like they were gonna come there anyway. You told us to run. Yeah, don't run <laughs> towards me. She was just following your directions. Yeah, run that you did way. not. You did not say in which direction. You just said if yeah, we, we can outrun them. But then you know I could have kept running, but she's over here looking all sad and blood dripping. And shit. <laughs> like I gotta take care of it. So I'm gonna use the incarnate special ability again uh, for my shadow. Oh my god, shadow! Why? Does a nine hit? A nine hits. Oh eight. hell yeah! Eight damage. You got it. That one's also still up. But they're looking rough now. And we're both both of us are looking at Lorelai like <laughs> I'm not I'm not looking. Can't see. I'm not looking. <laughs> Soraya, off in the distance, you see this battle taking place. What are you gonna do? Yes, I will uh, use my movement to start to get closer to uh, the action and I will uh, pull my crossbow, crossbow back out and try to fire again at the one that we have not been successful at killing. <laughs> you got it. Uh-oh. Uh, 11 to hit. Uh, that hits. That's uh, four points of piercing damage. Teamwork makes the dream work. 11 hits. 
as it starts lunging towards Brian. The crossbow bolt comes up, <laughs> slams into the head, <clears throat> falls over like a tree dead. Oh my god, kill steal! <laughs> it's about damn time. That's my turn. The thud it starts to sink into the mud as Lorelei, hashtag wolf, takes her turn. Okay, I'm going to use my bonus action to expend a spell slot and heal myself right quick. So I'll do that. Where is it? Okay, that. remind me on the rules of spell casting in wild shape form. It's uh, I can use for combat wild shape. I can use a bonus action to expend one spell slot to regain one d8 of HP per spell slot extended. Okay, got you. Yeah. Beautiful. All right, so that is my I got two HP. Heck yeah! <laughs> You're ready. <laughs> Hold the line, Lorelai. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm doing it. All right, I'm going to bite the one that's right here. Okay. And because it is within five feet of me and an ally, I get mm -hmm. advantage. You do, and you can see it. I can't see that, it. That helps. It does. <laughs> you should thank the torch. Oh, I got freaking nine, but that's plus four. That's what thirteen. Yeah. That's a hit. All right. So that is another two d. Oh, two d four. Did I do two d four last time? You did. All right. It's two a d four for every two. two. <gasps> Control. My bad. That's eight damage. All right. And you another do... strength saving throw. Well, con save first. He... It fails the con save, so he is outright dead. The <gasps> Lorelei jumps up, lands on top of it, <sighs> teeth tear into the neck, and <clears throat> head pops off and rolls away. <laughs> Zombified drow head just looking up into the dark sky. Who's a good girl? Okay. <laughs> you are. S snap at him. <laughs> okay, that's fair. That's Scratch fair. behind the ears, leg starts going. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, two funny. left. Um, one's definitely gonna go after the echo. Don't do it. I think he's an innocent. That is a ten to hit. Oh, that misses. Okay. And the other one is going to go after. We're going to die to see. The other one's going to lunge at the wolf. The zombies are stupid, apparently. I was going to roll dice. That is in 14 to hit. That hits. Four bludgeoning damage. Okay. All right. Back up to Brian. Uh, okay. Uh, crossbow bolt is the uh, at the one attacking the wolf. Go for it. Screw. Wow. <gasps> I get I get a thing. You get I do a not thing. Hit it. I do not hit it, but I get a I get a thing. Oh, you oh, get a, a chapter? Get a, yep, uh, I get a, a chapter. A paragraph? I do, I do. Alright. So oh, Bolt wow. goes flying off into the darkness, but you remember that for your story. Out of all of these good hits, I missed one. Anything else, Brian? Uh, no. <laughs> I make a note. <laughs> you got it. Sophie, on your up. Alright. Uh, so the shadow is going to attack this one. Shadow man. Uh, that's 12 to hit for 8 damage. Alright. Got a con save, hold up. Fails. Woo! Dagger comes out from the echo, pierces the spine, it kind of crumples in half and falls over. Yeah! One left. Uh, and this Sophion's gonna just kind of like chill. A little chill here. Yeah, good. <laughs> Sophion <laughs> takes the chill action. Sorry, yeah. you're up. Alright, I will use my uh, movements to get a bit closer uh and uh, actually over here so that i don't have a weird angle uh and i will fire my crossbow at the remaining zombie you got it oh. i get another paragraph <laughs> <Let's do that. laughs> there's the sound effect on my natural one <laughs> natural uh, so, one yeah that that does not work. Naturals. <laughs> what can I say? What can, what can, what can, what can Bolt sticks in the mud as Lorelai hashtag wolf takes her turn. Okay. I'm going to run up to... Where's the other one? It's right next to the echo. 
trying to oh yeah yeah that's right that's right that's right that's I'm going to go over to it and fight it again, and because it is within five feet, I get advantage again. You got oh, it. Put it in your mouth. Uh, let's clarify something real quick. So that says if you have a friendly creature within five it feet, correct? It is an object. Within five feet. Is it, it, it is an object? It is an object. Yeah, it is an object. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm fine with... It I'm going to let you control this. I'm fine with treating it as a creature or treating it as an object because that sword cuts both ways. So are you, you want to keep it an object or you want it to be a creature? Um, I, I have no, um, I, I have no justification for either or. Well, this okay, says, well, for, can I get like a word in clarification? Sure. It says if at least one of the wolf's allies is within five feet. I don't so think an ally can be an object. An ally can be, okay, I just want to yeah. be sure. It's up to you, I don't really care either way. We'll resolve it after this session. For yeah. now, we'll okay. leave it, we'll leave it as written as an object. Okay. All right, so I'll just do my D20. You guys have yep. to love it enough for it. Oh, that is a, a nice six to hit. A six does not hit. It's not <laughs> hit. Okay. Um, I will then use my bonus action to heal myself some more. You got it. All right. So let me do my my D eight. The zombie is going to okay. attack the wolf that just slashed out at it. I'm rolling dice between you two to see who it attacks. It likes they like attacking wolves apparently. That's a <laughs> 19 to hit for two damage. Okay, two damage. Okay. All right. Brian, you're up. I guess I'll just cross bolt it. There's, there's not a whole lot I can do to it. <laughs> Well, that's a little bit better. So 12 to hit, and that's uh, 6 damage. Crossbolt flies out, impales in the neck, lunges towards the side, and starts to attack the Echo. Still up. Well, that's my turn. Sophion? Uh, Sophion's going to come over here, uh, and he doesn't have to, but because he, he's, like, extra, he puts his, like, hands up so that his Echo can jump up and kind of try to slam down that dagger in the face of this. Oh, natural 20! Full 7 damage as uh, the echo like flies up in this guy and like slams the dagger right in its skull. Slam into the skull. You seem to have you seem to have twisted something free because now it is moving exceptionally slow as it takes its 7 damage. It is still up though. Oh man! It's close. It's close. <laughs> its movement speed is half for the next turn. Heck yeah. And, uh, Anything else? I'm just gonna move back. <laughs> I've done my job. Soraya. Uh, I will stay where I am and load my crossbow one more time and fire. All these crossbow bolts flying. Yeah. Uh, nine to hit and nine points of piercing. All right. If it stays up, it does not. Ha -ha. not. Natural one, as Crossbow Bolt flies out, it falls into the echo and kind of slides down Sophion's face, although it's not really Sophion. Is Sophion from another dimension? Is it Dimension? <laughs> <laughs> I will uh, go around and pick up my uh, Crossbow Bolts. I will also do the same with mine. <laughs> Sophion will double tap each zombie. Okay. Why do you think there were zombies buried in this road? Why were there dead drow buried here? Maybe the people who came by before killed the drow. So maybe someone else is after the shards. Perhaps. Still, I am uh, glad that it was not the drow themselves. These were far no, more right? easy like... to kill. Oh, God. They would have killed y'all. Uh, all right, let's go. Are we not going to talk about the fact that you ran at the first sign of danger? Look, if a fight can be avoided, avoid it. Yes, but communication is key. You should have. Told I yelled us it. Y'all were fine. Gosh, damn. All right, from here on out, if you find zombies, go around it. Lorelai was surrounded. Lorelai. Can you turn into a bird? <laughs> I'm still a wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Lorelai just growls at you. <laughs> <laughs> I pay, I pay 
to that. I'll <laughs> change back and say, um, I, I don't, I haven't felt confident enough to do this yet. Um, but I'm glad it worked out well. I don't think I can be a bird, though. Okay. Yeah. His it's... wings are complicated. I, I assume. Um, I, I would assume so. They look complicated. Yeah. Shall we All continue right. on? Let's go. <laughs> I will stay in the rear and make sure there are no more zombies about to get us. Okay. So, standing here amongst amongst the zombified drow, looking down the road, planning ahead, a um, couple of things attract your attention based on your previous perception checks. Number one, <clears throat> two of the zombified drow you recognize from the initial battle at the edge of the dark wood outside of Rebalka. Additionally, the footprints seem to split. You see along the hunter's trail that leads towards the north and then also along the north road a few sets of footprints head in both directions. Wait, there is something happening. The you mentioned the two drow. Which two are they? The two important ones, or the ones that were not important? The ones that got killed by their drow friends. Oh shit! And this is a different location, right? Than yes. Who brought the bodies out here? And in... probably Maybe... their friends. Do you recognize these people? Yeah, I fucked them up. Like oh, last this night. Even when I was unconscious. You guys were all unconscious. Mm. I mean, I remember being surrounded, but I don't remember them specifically. Yeah, I, I had one. Uh, was one of the ones I like grappled? Is that one of the ones? Yes. Yeah, I, I pick them up. I'm like, I, I had them like this. It's the one that Lorelai, <laughs> Lorelai, do your people usually turn into undead when they die? I don't remember that ever happening before. This must be something new. Well, Maybe. Yeah, wow, what a That's question. That's not a normal thing, no. <laughs> <laughs> There's only I'm, one way I to find know. out. Oh, God. <laughs> I will say, as Sofian is describing what, how he so expertly destroyed these drow, you do see on the one he points to that he was grappling a... An, a crossbow bolt sized hole in its forehead that didn't come from any of you. You said that these drow, that they uh, worship uh, and value strength and and despise weakness, right? Yes. Perhaps, perhaps the these were... quality of everyone. Well, perhaps these were left and buried in on this road because they were undeserving of more uh... I mean if Sofian is saying that he helped he helped make them look weak if he did I could see that they would they would dispose of them this way use them as a trap if you will if that's what this is or if this is a yeah. shitty kind of burial site or perhaps this hole in one of their foreheads perhaps whatever was shot into him perhaps that is what turned him into some sort of undead creature well let's find out and i'll i won't take my special dagger i will take out one of my other daggers and kind of try to jam it into the hole and crack open his skull just like with a rock or something like i eh, eh, eh. do Jesus not know Christ. anything about brains or we're their... gonna find out Okay. Jam it in. It gives in relatively easily. You see gray matter. You see a little bit of viscous fluid slowly creep out. Just like throwing it. The stuff that I don't recognize. Like... What else are you looking for? Does this does this look like it's supposed to be here? I don't. I don't. I'm not a doctor. I don't know what I'm looking for here. So that's a looks... brain. Okay. Uh, is there anything here that looks weird? It's like I've never seen a human brain before. God, drow. Yeah, I guess drow brain. Yeah. I don't. Know I mean, I guess I might have. But... 
I was hoping one. I don't know. There'd be something. I don't if know. This was, um, this had to have been some either an alchemical thing or a spell. I would assume because I, I don't think we turn into zombies when we die. This is definitely necromancy. Yes. They have necromancy too. Like I feel like that's unfair. Like they're better in this environment. They're just better in general. And Thank now you. they come back from the dead. And they are growing stronger every day. Yes. So, fuck us is what I'm trying to say. Like, well, what do the damn. what do the footsteps mean? Do we follow on this path, or should we follow them onto the trail? I would like to avoid the trail personally, but I don't know what the footsteps mean. Does it look like one of the? Do it look like they are fairly even footsteps, or is one a bit more mm. heavy than the other? There are less footsteps heading along the. Hunter's Trail. Perhaps uh, they took their hostages uh, along this thicker uh, set of footprints, but they did not need all of their numbers to do that task, and perhaps they sent off uh, hunters or, or whatever to uh, set up traps or do some other thing. And well, they did a say a smaller number. They did say that the the townspeople said when they went out onto the road that there were traps on the trail. Yes, so perhaps we should follow the thicker path because I think that would be that, the that would assume there were hostages. I don't know if they would risk taking or we split the hostages up. through. I we're not splitting up. I don't think that is wise. <laughs> uh, no, I, I just wanted to throw it out there. I think it would be safer for us to keep on the larger path, but yes. maybe remember that there could be something behind us if we keep going forward. I will. Uh, Keep an eye on our six. Let's okay. go. Yeah, okay. Uh, just wipe the brain matter on the snow. Okay. This way, let's go. Whew. Man. Brian, were you attached to Lorelai that entire time? <laughs> I, the rope cut. <laughs> I, I would assume that, uh, out, out of character, I would assume that the rope would not stay on the dog-sized Lorelai <laughs> until it would have just fell to the floor at some point. Because I never, right. if you remember, before Lorelai turned into a dog, I never got too far away from Lorelai. That's true, that's true. So, same traveling setup as before. So if you're on the front with a torch, everybody spaced out behind? Yeah. Okay. Yes, Maybe I, we should space a little bit closer, just in case. Or do I would like to still keep uh, a bit of a healthy distance in the back for your okay. own safety. And I like talking, so I would like someone by me, but I understand if safety is more important than companionship. Didn't you bring your own friend to talk to? I can't talk to him. He's He's from a different place. I think bringing him here is kind of causing some psychosis in his mind that fucks him up while he's in this dimension. But Isn't it I your need... mind? Huh? Isn't his mind your mind? It's me from a different dimension, different time, parallel universe and stuff. It's not me. It's just someone who has my name, different choices. Let's not get into it. It's weird. I don't know how it really works. I just do it. Okay. I'm going to back away and get into my position. <laughs> All right. Well, let's carry on. All right. Traversing through the darkness with the shining beacon of Sophion lighting the way. I need new perception checks. From I'll do one. Or... Uh, from one person and from Sophia. I'll do one. Take one, Lorelai. Now, also to describe something else here, um, there's going to be a trade-off during this entire traversal through the dark woods, no matter how long it takes, because you're trying to catch up to the people that have been captured, correct? Yes, at, the same, yeah. at the same time, you don't want to draw undue attention. Okay? So, if you're trying to be stealthy, that's going to make you go slower. If you're going to try and move faster, you're not going to be very stealthy. So, what do y'all want to do in general, unless you tell me otherwise? As you're traveling. This is traveling across the country. 
does it does it look like just from the footsteps we've been following does it look like we're sort of keeping us an even pace with them or are we gaining on them or losing them at all based on the survival check earlier you're welcome to try and give me another one to see if you get any different Do you it. can't really tell i have it i have um uh, pretty sure i have uh proficiency in survival okay go ahead can't Lorelai do her puppy thing? Aren't they good at hunting? 21. Okay. I also have locate object. Locate object. You're de the footsteps definitely aren't getting any drier or more hidden or more older. Um, you seem to be keep relatively even pace, maybe catching up a bit. But if so, it's not very fast. And this is this is what have y'all haven't been moving at a a decent to brisk clip coming out of the village when there weren't a whole bunch of trees and stuff around. So if you go slower to be stealthy, there's a good chance you're gonna fall further away. Could I have a logistics question? If mm -hmm. we wanted to even that out a bit and just go like a normal pace or whatever, but still be stealthy, would pass without a trace have any effect on that? I'm pretty sure Pass Without a Trace just gives you advantage on stealth checks and adds plus a big modifier. It's plus yeah. 10 to okay. stealth and we can't be tracked. Okay, so you definitely can't be tracked regardless, so it'd be like leaving no footprints. <laughs> How, however, unless you're trying to be stealthy and making a stealth check, I mean, if there's a passive stealth situation, I'll re I can remember that you have a plus 10, but Pass Without a Trace is just kind of, that's like a 10 minute thing, or is it an hour? What an hour. Two? It's an hour. So there's probably be something that you would want to cast when you know you're going into a dangerous situation. Okay. Yeah. I mean, because you might end up blowing it. It just depends. True. You know what I mean? All right. Here is my question to the group. Are we hoping to catch up with these uh, prisoners before they reach their destination? Or is it okay if we find them once they are already there? I think it might be better no. if we catch up to them before they get there, because the enemies will have potential reinforcements. We will be walking into an entire, probably veritable, village of Drow. Well, perhaps we should speed up. It is less stealthy, and we uh, would have a harder time finding things sneaking up on us, but I also... I'm not quite confident that if we were being stealthy that they would not still see us anyway as they yeah, seem if, to be very familiar with this terrain. If they're leaving spies in the in the forest, they yes. might see us regardless. Yeah. I mean, I'm so not perhaps we should cardio, speed. but I guess we could try running. Unless you would like to let them reach their destination and then we could maybe spy on them and see if they keep the prisoners or whatever they are at this point in a specific place and we could perhaps try but i'm worried uh i'm worried that uh if the prisoners are in this final destination for too long that they will no longer be prisoners and they will be sacrifices and then we do also have the option of taking that trail yes. if we wanted to get there faster but it's the good dangerous. news is well the good news is there would be less of them on that trail potentially there is no good news it only took like four of them to kick our ass yes so perhaps we should branch off and take this shorter route <clears throat> and continue going at the pace we are as sort of a, a an in between. I say let's up the pace. Up the pace and continue along this road. Uh, I don't really care which road. I think they're both going to lead to doom. So. The road that will likely lead us to the prisoners. Yes. I don't know. I think if we up the pace. And it would be safer for us to be on the stay on the main road if we up the pace and go into the dangerous hunter's trail. We could be uh, seeking attention from n other things, non drow, just creatures who live there. Deer. Perhaps. But I will follow what the group 
means. I would be okay with picking up the pace, but staying on the safe road. Agreed. Okay. Or I guess safe or road since we just walked over a pile of zombies. Yeah, zombies is a baseline, but the zombies is safe. <laughs> All right, then let's do it. All right, leg day. Getting our cardio. Yeah. All right, so I was DM multitasking there. We are uh, increasing to a fast pace, but staying on this main road. Okay, you got it. So, Sofian starts bobbing with the torch as you make oh, significant headway. Oh, I look like an Olympian headway. runner. <laughs> <laughs> with the echo next to him kind of phasing in and out as they travel <laughs> along ahead. Yeah! I need somebody to roll me a d20. I'll do it. You roll a one. We'll find you. That is a six. Okay. Okay. You travel for several hours. The outskirts of the dark wood begins to get closer and closer upon the north road. Trees are, you can basically reach out and touch them around you, and they're interspersed. Not super thick, but thicker than they have been. Up ahead, you see, off in the distance, another torch along the road in front of you. It seems to be kind of behind a tree, maybe a hundred or so feet ahead. You see humanoid figures by the torch, the shadowy figures of them, kind of walking back and forth across the road in front of you. What are you doing? All right. Press the digitation. Torches out. <laughs> you get hit by a wall. Of, you get hit by a wall of darkness. Oh, so you you start running towards the light. God <laughs> fucking <laughs> druid. Whatever. I will it is. back. Just let him. I'm just gonna keep walking at the pace that we were walking before. I'm going to slow slight, slightly and increase my distance and try to try to see if I can. Uh, if I can gather anything more about these humanoid shapes, that they look like they have uh, elongated ears that tell me that they are sort of some sort of elf. Okay. Sofian, you charging forward, they seem to pay you no mind as you run practically upon them. Everybody else looking as you get creep closer and closer. You see that these individuals with the torchlight by the tree up much closer to Sofian are, they seem to be humans. With the light, you can tell it's mostly furs and leathers they're wearing. Sofian, as you approach, one of them has a, a stick. As he's walking, he is kind of whipping the back of his hand and whipping his arm. You can see that the skin is broken in many places, and it's bleeding down as the blood drips from his fingertips uh, nah, nah, down to the it. snow. And the other one is leaned up against the tree, and he has... A massive peak, a, a massive piece of old, dried bark that he has ripped from the tree with his raw fingers, and he is gnawing on this as though a rodent would, to the point where the sides of his mouth are torn through. They don't acknowledge your presence. They seem completely dazed and fully entranced in what they're doing. What? Yeah, I'm, fuck. Yeah, I'm gonna run. Is the uh, is the torch around them? The, the torch has been kind of propped up in a branch on the tree. You see that behind the tree there is a, a small tent and a few supplies, as though these were hunters out maybe doing trapping work at some point before whatever has overcome them took hold. Yeah, now it's running past, like, gonna go around whatever this cray-cray is. This is disgusting and gross. So are you keeping a wide berth, or are you just kind of like... Wide berth. Wide. Okay, so you get out to the point where you're... The exterior of the torchlight's just barely illuminating your feet, keeping an eye on them, and they seem completely entranced. Everybody, you see Sofian move out of the torchlight, and then his shadowy form creep past the edge of the road. Do you think they need help? Are we close enough now to see what he saw? 
Yeah, you can be as close as you want. Okay. I mean, I was probably close behind him. I do, him but us. I don't think we have the time to help them right now. We can come back, but we don't have the time. They're, they're, they are far past what we are hoping to save with the others. What could have done this to them? Nothing good. And I'll yes. keep walking. Yeah, I'll walk around too. I do the torch light. I will as well, and I will take uh, a moment and and look at them before turning around and continuing walking. Soraya is finishing along the path, looking at them. The one that is gnawing on this massive piece of bark looks up, and you can't tell if he's focused on you or. If it's almost as though he's looking through you. And you see, as he's gnawing, his jaw suddenly just kind of goes limp as he tore through the tendons, and he's still trying to shove it further and further into his mouth. And with that, utter disgust and fear, you avert your gaze and continue on into the dark I'm night. I'm so sorry. Your friends. I'm so sorry. Sophion relights his torch a good distance away. And hightails it up the road, leaving all of you in the dust unless you catch up with him. Uh, that was horrifying. Deeply unsettling. Like a drive-by horror theater. You're not here. <laughs> he thinks to himself while running. <laughs> <laughs> we are facing powerful foes and powerful darkness. We just have to keep going. I don't know what could have caused that. It's like their minds broke. Yes. Come, we have many distances to travel. Don't like this place. No, I nor do I. Anyone would. I wish I could see the sun. Okay, I think we'll catch up to okay. Sofian. I'm not running after Sophia. I'm just gonna walk the normal. I'll walk like a little bit faster, but I'm not gonna. Yeah, run a after. little bit faster. Okay. You continue on for several more hours at this pace, the darkness seemingly pressing down upon you, threatening to push you into the very snow itself as the snowdrift continues to fall around you. The bottoms of the trees have snow kind of packed up against them on either side and. There's a dark wood now at the very proper edge of it that comes thick with trees. Sophion leading the way rounds a corner and you continue behind him. <clears throat> Sophion, you hear something heavy relatively nearby, heavier, heavy enough to drown out the sound of your own footsteps through the muddy road. You pause to hear more carefully and the rest of your party starts to catch up a bit as you wave your torch around looking into the darkness you see something dangling from the tree directly adjacent to you it appears to be a rope it seems to be tied off at a branch and just left there and then you realize this rope is coming down and is protruding out into the road just in front of your foot with a knot and a hoop barely inches away from where your footfall landed. And that's where we're going to end tonight's session at. That was some creepy <laughs> shit, man. I didn't step in it. <laughs> no, I want to scream from up ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no. man. So, episode five in the books. Unfortunately, I don't get to say you leveled up again. Hopefully, that'll be relatively soon. But you can. I can say it, but it <laughs> won't have any I, meaning. Where do I send the check to? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah. Good job, guys. Y'all did some shopping, got some cool items. 
you've made your way into the dark wood for this next chapter. Random encounters and evil things abound. Um, I'm going to set up a raid and I'm going to go to the stream ending soon here in a minute. While I'm doing that, why don't you all take a second and talk about what your favorite moments were. I always love roleplay moments, so I, I like that Soraya now has a secret with uh, Brian. <laughs> I liked all the descriptions of everything. Like those people, that was disgustingly cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like the, the narrative dark and it, it's, it's, God, it's like those video games I play. It's wonderful. I love it. <laughs> I can't believe I have a period of wound closure. Guys, I'm unstoppable now. <laughs> <laughs> Almost like a zombie. The, the, yeah. uh, the most frail character becomes the most OP role play. Watch. Just... <laughs> I mean, really, it just keeps them, gives them the ability to torture you through. Someone tries to punch a hole into Soraya's right? <laughs> for all 13 hp she has oh, right. oh, God. i'm telling you i'm gonna need that period of wound closure and yeah. th those greater healing potions Soraya will be our zombie it's yeah. gonna come to a point it won't matter uh, it's a one shot <laughs> ko yeah. yeah i'm excited to like learn more about these characters you know like, I feel like we don't really know each other at all. Yeah. I mean, I feel like we kind of know Sofian. We know, like, surface yeah. level. Yeah, y'all yeah. know surface level Sofian. All right, let's not get crazy. But, like, I don't really even know surface level of Lorelai or Brian. I don't think you guys really know surface level of me. No. Yeah. Yeah. Because we got thrown into this, and y'all got to play hero. <laughs> I think it's going to take a lot longer to do even surface level for a lot of us, because, like, for, for at least for uh Soraya and uh Brian because Lorelai is generally pretty open we just haven't asked her anything right Sophion just always talks so like <laughs> we know a lot about him already yeah. I think like <laughs> Brian doesn't know how to answer those questions because he's never had friends whereas like Soraya kind of doesn't want to answer those questions yeah. because she has not had friends. <laughs> so, like, I feel like us two are, it's either going to be us two are going to be really close or, like, they're going to be really close with us. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm I so I, curious about I, this relationship because we are, like, sort of two two sides of the same coin. Yeah. Where you're, you're like, oh, I don't know how to do anything because I've never had friends. And Soraya's like, I'm oh. haunted by my past. I can't get close to people. Like... <laughs> Similar, but not. <laughs> you start reading your diaries every time you go down. <laughs> Y'all, I would love for this party to eventually visit my hometown. Oh my gosh. Is that good? <laughs> Is it dainty? Sophia, I'm going to have a good time. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. I you guys think... want to visit my hometown? We're headed that way. hey -o. We're not heading toward my place. <laughs> we done did my town site. <laughs> I think I think my favorite part was just the fact that, like you said, the role playing and everything, but it was a nice change of pace where it was just kind of open time. And so after you all woke up um, and you went and spoke with the mayor, you all kind of went and did your thing, right? And that gave us a lot about your character like what is Sophion's priority what is Soraya's priority and Brian's and we, Laura we defined by those moments <laughs> Soraya just trying to get one more hour of sleep <laughs> all right awesome guys well uh, we are going to raid Ink and Lear I don't know who they are they are three hours and 42 minutes in so hopefully they don't end as soon as we get there I don't know but I'm going to jump over to the stream ending screen. Uh, everybody hung out with us tonight. Thank you. Hop in Discord, please. Follow us on Twitter. Follow, sub, all that great stuff. This will be up on YouTube this weekend, unless something gets in the way. We're fully caught up there, except for this one. So spread the love, share the word, take care of yourselves, and keep playing, y'all. We'll see y'all next time, all right? Hashtag Team Soraya.
<laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs>